it's time for Redman Castle. Wait, wait. It's never mind. Let me see something. No, we're okay. Just give me a sec. Uh, okay. Got this going. Take on the castle. Should be able to get the red hot wet blade in here, which will be nice for a number of reasons. Might be able to use that in conjunction with. Honestly, I. Right over here, there should be a skeleton I can take out to try to farm. <clears throat> Executioner's Great Axe. That would be nice to get. It's the question, it's just how much I'd be able to upgrade it. Executioners, and I don't have a lot of smithing stones, so I guess that's just not happening right now. Alright then. Hmm. Think about this. Ooh, ooh okay. Main thing is, let's get over here, there are going to be these things trying to get in my way. Let's go and look at what my spells are right now. Among other things, I should put on piercing. Let me check. <clears throat> Memorize. That's okay. Should probably put it in flame fortification just in case for the sake of crossing this bridge. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Come on. Thank you. You have to sort of bait it out and then turn back. Hello there. Hello. And I. Wait, what? Huh? What the hell? I hate this stupid horse. Hajime Mash Tenshi. That was. Scary Mommy! Oh no, now I'm scared. How are you doing? I am trying my damnedest to. I haven't started the Radon Festival yet, and that's deliberate because I would like to, among other things, take out. The Misbegotten Warrior in Crucible Knight, basically the boss of this castle area, before actually taking on the main boss. But, <clears throat> this is interesting and weirdly complicated. Basically, I'm just backing up. Thank you! Glad you like it. How are you doing? <clears throat> well, me too. I'm going. It's going pretty well. So. Do you want to make some sort of promotional offer, or...? There. Let me just get out of the way. Now that we're over the bridge, we're good. I, that was a totally wasted rune arc, and that is not fun. Okay. At least the fire resist helped. Either way, it's nice to meet you. Let me see who I can beat up in this area before the... Oh, okay, okay! I would have no problem with it, even if you were. It... No. Any source of conversation is appreciated, but either way, how are you doing? Souls person? Fan or what was the impetus? Let me see. How am I gonna oh, ooh. Okay, fair, fair. Don't worry about it. either way it What kind of games do you consider yourself into? Anything on your mind you wanna talk about or what's going on? Just trying to see. For what it is worth I probably will be getting a... I've got a model improvement. Something a bit higher budget in, work, in the works, so we'll... You can stick around and see how that happens. And a fire sword troll? Oh, that is new to me. Come on in. Ooh, my goodness. Alright. Main thing is... It would be good to put on... My two main buffs right now, and I- Okay, oh, well, somehow, that did not get me. That's a surprise, it's not a bad way, but... Okay, go for the skill, and... Ooh, 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 alright. Okay, the damage was good, but we should... Wait for that and- Okay, 
Stay out of the way of that flame wave. Rush back in with a skill and take that troll out. That said, there was not really much of a reason to do that. And fair. Yeah, it's... It is interesting. Because there are a lot of people who say, you know, why would someone want to watch someone play a game rather than playing a game? When it's exactly the same kind of thing with spectator sports, really, in that... For a lot of people, fair. Well, as long as you enjoy the experience. Yeah, as long as you're being entertained. You know, you're not having due to the work of executing it yourself or being able to watch someone with greater mechanical skill or greater knowledge. It's, it's, it's a very similar kind of thing, I would say. But, so what kind of games would you say you enjoy watching when you've watched other people play? Because right before I started this Elden Ring playthrough, which I started right when the DLC came out, in the hopes of seeing how the base game might have changed when the DLC came out, which, sadly, much to my chagrin, was basically not at all. But, before that, I went and did a marathon of essentially the rest of the Soul series, including also Sekiro and Bloodborne, which were a lot of fun. It is interesting, because there are some people who say that Elden Ring is probably about as hard as From Software can afford to really make a game without it. In terms of just pure mechanical execution barrier, without it becoming maybe a bit too crazy for most people. Which, fair. Oh, oh, okay. Mario Party. I... That's something I should try to do. I should try to schedule some Mario Party sometime. Because I think I've still got the sub to... Nintendo Switch Online, and to be fair, I could also just emulate it. The Switch Online Plus, it gives you access to various N64 games. Because I was over at a friend's for 4th of July, and they played the new one that came out on Switch, and it did look really cool, but it's just... It can be tough sometimes to justify picking up games that I might just play once or twice. But in terms of party-style games, a couple of my boys and I are wrapping up I... I will be the first to admit that I spook pretty easily. But on the request of a friend, and with them basically backseating, I did stream through FNAF 1 and 2. And those were pretty fun. I will admit that I had to sort of stack the deck, and by stack the deck I mean shamelessly cheat to do the first one. Because I did not want to just... You know, I, I'm a coward. I, fu I fully I fully admit that I'm a coward, but for FNAF 2, I did actually buckle down. I honestly feel like I should go back and beat FNAF 1 for real, quote-unquote, sometime. Maybe at least on my own. The big thing is that apparently FNAF 3 and 4 are very, very scary and very, very difficult. One very scary and one very difficult. Yeah, it's... Well, you know, it's a matter of just... Some people enjoy that kind of thing, and in the right context, I do too. I think a lot of it is just, even if horror games aren't normally my ballpark, when there are people who'd like to see me play, and who are entertained by it happening, it makes it that much easier. It's, it's the collaborative experience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And no pressure, but they, there is a fan cord linked in the buttons below. So if you have any interest in sticking around and... Seeing a bit more, checking out what else I do, getting to know the community, you would be more than welcome to join. People also just chat there anyway, so that interests you at all. Yeah, thank you, much appreciated. Always happy to add more people to the team. Okay, and that guy with the funny catapult. Yeah. But, on the topic of Elden Ring, I like Elden Ring a lot, and it's actually... The only- it's actually the first one I beat. Not the first one I played, but the first one I beat. For a couple of reasons. And a big reason is... This is going to sound very, very stupid. Maybe. But... Last year... They were patching... Doing a new patch for Genshin, and I noticed that some of the enemies... Were very clearly inspired a bit in their movesets by... Cement bosses in Elden Ring, and I figured, you know... I've done a little bit of Elden Ring, and I want to see the original inspiration for the movesets before I play the influenced version. And so I went through and sped run. Would it be speed run or sped run? What do you mean, saucy? I'm scared. 
but don't don't worry. We can be I can be normal too. But uh, as I was saying, they added. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my! Again? No! Oh my goodness! And the worst part is that I've done this dungeon before. Okay. It's interesting because this is a big... Sort of a difference in design philosophy between... Oh, thank you, thank you. I just... I forgot there was that drop over there. And the worst part, th part is, if I'd been on my horse, it wouldn't have mattered. I would have been able to just probably double jump back off. The big thing is that... And there are these items called the Runars that give you really, really good, really strong buffs in exchange for, oh my goodness, being a rare and consumable item that you can mostly only get through playing multiplayer, either invading people for PvP or helping people fight bosses for, wait, what? What? Okay, the other annoying thing about the horse is that the horse is the most convenient thing about the entire game. By a country mile. It's not even close. But the really annoying thing is... And I thought they'd mostly fix the glitch. And all the runes in that rune stand are gone now. At least there weren't all that many. This is... I would like to say that the actual boss fights... I do much better on for a number of reasons. The big thing is that... It depends on your build... The big thing about it is that a lot of people play the game in an unnecessarily inflexible manner. Whereas, if you change out your weapon, change out your spells, even change out your entire stat build by way of the rebirth system, which relies on a limited item, but it's not incredibly limited. You pick up decent amounts just by progressing through the game and killing certain bosses and mini-bosses. But the big thing about it is you can change out... The weapon you use, they give you a good amount of upgrade material, so it's not that bad to do. And, oh my, what? Oh my goodness, the horse isn't dead, but I've gotten knocked off. But, if you can target enemy weaknesses, and though to be fair, that can be tough to do unless you have access to the wiki and fan documentation. And that does mean that in the early days of a game release, oftentimes, they won't know what all the resistances are, but oftentimes there are some heuristics... He jumped down from the top of the castle gate. That is... that's life. But, essentially, these rune arcs give you really strong buffs. Full restoration of your stats, but they're very rare. You can only get a few in the world and a few from multiplayer. But... It's what encourages you to play multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's interesting is that I'm pretty sure that once I get in the castle proper, I'll be able to fight him from the other side without having to worry about the jump down. That said, I probably have to reload the area by resting at a checkpoint, or a site of grace as it's called. Because in, Soul in Demon Souls, the original, they actually didn't even really have checkpoints. They had these arch stones, which interestingly enough were actually the petrified skulls of some unprecedented tape, <coughs> sort of tape, <coughs> excuse me, taper-like creature. Which in Asian cultures, tapers are often associated with dreams. If you know the Pokemon Drowsy and Hypno, oh, they're based off of tapers. If I recall correctly, there's also a taper associated with dreams in Animal Crossing. But, essentially, Demon Souls, which, it's a very, very short game, too. I played it on stream, basically right before Elder Ring DLC came out, is sort of the last little thing to do. And, because originally, I wanted to play them in release order, maybe try the Demon Souls remake. But, I didn't want to buy a PS5, and I couldn't figure out how to buy it. I... Don't worry, I'm alright. The main thing is... Oh, I had... I had a bit, bit to eat right before all this, so... I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, there we go, and... I... I'm pretty sure lightning would have worked a bit better, but as you can see... When a certain amount of enemies are defeated... You'll get red and blue streams sort of going into you... Representing the restoration of some of the... Red Health Flask and Blue Mana Flask that you have to use to store your health. And that is the big thing about Souls, is that past Demon Souls, generally one of the main gimmicks has been semi-limited healing. That 
flaming strike, wide frontward arc, lunging sweeping strike, coat the armament in fire, melee wet armaments, so that essentially there's nothing like passive health regeneration, which to be fair is more of a FPS type thing. And let's see, yeah, and it's but it doesn't say a Radon skill, which means it might not. In the DLC, there's a weapon that specifically boosts weapon skill that are associated with the Red Mains, who are the knights around here. So this entire area, the entire game is not like this. So this specific area was basically destroyed by the introduction of quote-unquote Scarlet Rot, which is basically space disease. Yeah, and... A lot of these characters, the Red Main Knights who you fight, have fire-associated skills because they used fire to stave off the rot. And that... got one of those already, but I didn't have any in the inventory, so that's why it said it was new. Yeah, it's very, very nice. It has a very medieval style to it. And... There are still lingering traces of beta versions of the maps. What's interesting is that the beta versions have all these sort of medieval style sea monsters drawn in various places, and also a bit of text, which, okay, that's a door that I need to open from the other side, the Souls Classic. Let's open a notepad and door. It's one door. So I guess I'll just have to go up the ladder, but... I streamed Elden Ring one time before on the mage build I mentioned before last year in the summer, and I actually went through this dungeon, but I could not beat the boss at the end because it it's just very unsuited for a pure mage build. And when I say pure mage build, I do mean pure. I only level up intelligence, which governs damage, and allows you to meet requirements for stronger spells and mana. So I had no durability whatsoever, in part because my health was low, and also since my equip weight capacity was low, I also could not wear any kind of meaningful armor. And that was... it made things a good deal harder for a number of reasons. And basically... There are some things that sort of send you to this area early. And this area is basically the third area. The northern subsection is arguably intended for a bit later in the game. And it's very... The teleport's out, but a lot of it is essential. You go back to areas a bit later when events have happened. This plateau up here in the lake area, you need to do a whole quest to get to, which you can technically do before you get over to the fourth area over here, but it is intended for a bit later. Yeah, yeah. The big thing is that... Pressing left trigger lets you use a weapon skill. And also the rune arc effect I've got on, which I use them pretty generously, which is dangerous because if I run out, I'm going to be a lot weaker. The one I have, effect I have equipped right now, which is the only one I have access to at the moment, is plus five to every stat, which especially when all of my stats are individually quite low since I level them all up evenly. This is not how you would normally play if you were doing a real build. The effects of plus five to everything are very, very pronounced right now. Well, it... It's... complicated. Because every level costs more than the last one, regardless of what stat you're investing in at the time, which means... Say... If my strength was at 98, and my intelligence was at 10, it would cost me just as much to take my intelligence to 11 than my strength to 99. Though to be fair, increasing intelligence from 10 to 11 would actually have much more of an effect damage-wise if I was using anything that used intelligence than increasing strength from 98 to 99, because they also have diminishing returns, which... There are some overhaul mods for the game that change that, so things scale pretty high all the way up. But yeah, it's intended to make it so that if you mess up your build... Or don't, or need to change things around, but don't have access to, or don't want to totally respec. Still have ways to. Even a bad build is not going to be all that much worse than a very focused build. The only time where a really, really focused build is necessary or really important, frankly, is in PvP, because in PvP, I should use Starlight here most likely. The one. Uh, the one sorcerer I actually really use at this point, but this is... Okay, Armor's Cookbook, Red Maintenance who serve General Radon, the Great General Radon, Application of Fire to deal with Rot, like I mentioned before, you know, as in Cured Meat and what? Cured Meat to prevent the um, buildup of Rot. So these guys will attack me, so I can only afford to be a bit brutal and take them out. Yeah. One of the, one of the boys, who, one of the guys who I've been playing 
Rod, I mentioned party games. Right now I'm playing... We're almost done. We're right in front of the final dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Normally... One interesting thing about Souls is that... There are a number of... Let me see. Okay, so that was the door from before. So this isn't all that much of a shortcut, but it's good to take note of. Is that some weapons are just better. That... And sometimes they'll actually balance weapons differently in PvE and PvP. But there are some options that are intended to be a bit stronger than others. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I will say, if there's anyone I should credit, it would be my speech and debate coach from high school a few years ago. But, as I was saying, I like to think that I can talk in a clear, measured manner without stumbling over my words too much. Not to shame anyone who does. But, as I was saying... In Souls, there are... And like I said, they'll often do balance patches that change PvP differently from PvE, so that strong options can exist in player versus environment, single player to help people beat the game. And that isn't true at all. It... That is more or less the truth. I could not disagree with that interpretation if I wanted to. But... So that the PvP experience is balanced, but... And that's why I think... A lot of the discourse surrounding an easy mode ignores a lot of the, the realities of game development and a bit of their design philosophy, because they deliberately do leave strong weapons, weak weapons, strong spells, weak spells, strong build options, weak build options, and those are effectively the difficulty options in the game. And there are also things like summoning, other sorts of ways to make the game easier without a difficulty toggle, and people are legitimate for wanting one at times. But the big thing about it is that it's not a completely free trade-off, in that I think it's sort of a question of would you prefer a game with one weapon and two difficulty modes, or a weapon or a game with one difficulty mode and two weapons that play difficult differently and one makes the game easier than the other. And it's sort of, to make a good difficulty toggle, to make difficulties that are actually balanced instead of, and this is... There was a game that had a very interesting idea that I saw some years ago, where there are a lot of... An, a large number of difficulty options, and you were effectively intended to sort of fine-tune the game yourself as you liked. And it's an interesting idea, but one thing I could sort of think about in retrospect was, in a way, they were kind of offloading the resp the developer was offloading the responsibility of developing a balanced game to the player. And to make a good balanced game mode, well, to make good balanced difficulty, that does take some time away from making other things like more weapons. It's not a... It's not costless, if you catch my drift. There are legitimate reasons to choose one way or the other. And I... Okay, heal. And... Uh, for a second, I thought that window might have prevented me from healing. These spot old things, somber stone, these spot old thing, okay. Those things on my mage build were almost impossible to take down. It's kind of hilarious. In that... <sighs> the big thing is that you didn't see, because I deliberately avoided using projectiles against them, but they dodge almost all projectiles. Thank you. Well, a lot of it is, I know what weapon to use... One thing I like about Souls games, which is not true about everyone, is that you can quote-unquote get better at the game by kind of studying for the tests. That stuff on wikis, community sites, other forms of documentation can teach you about strategies, tell you which options are better or worse. The big thing is telling you about enemy resistances. And to be fair, there are other heuristics you can use, for example, in... In Elden Ring, generally, I would say the best damage type is Piercing, which this great Epe, which is a really fun weapon for me right now, deals. And because it's good on things with armor, it's good on things with scales, which means dragons and knights. And dragons are very hard, and knights are very common, so it's generally quite good. And then things that don't have armor is in exposed skin or sort of just clothes. Slashing is good against. And what's interesting is that 
In previous Souls games, strike damage used to be the best option for dealing with armor, but Elden Ring introduced a lot of golem-type enemies, or enemies just made of stone that aren't necessarily constructs, and strike is good on those, or enemies that are just made of metal without being armored. And it that's what strike is good on here, but there just aren't that many of them. And so as a result, piercing is generally going to be a very good option, but some enemies have different sorts of resistances. It's its its own thing. But the main thing is, is that, you know, every now and then I will be just sitting around doing who knows what and decide, you know what? This would be a fun time to read the Souls wiki. And I read the wiki on some game and I find out, oh, okay, so that's what such and such bosses we do. That's how to deal with them. And I think there is an argument to be made that it goes against a bit of the spirit of discovery. But at the very, sa at the very same time, and it's very interesting because it goes against the toxic attitude that some players do have, although I would say that a decent amount of that is overstated, because the de that the original developer or the director of From Software, the devs of this game, specifically says that the multiplayer functionality of the game is intended to encourage sort of silent cooperation sort of pushing other people along without red main fire pot and that require a ritual pot if I recall correctly. I don't really use the throwing pots though because I've got actual spells. Fire damage and boy fire to stave off the scarlet rot. So earlier Souls games had just straight up consumable throwing items like fire bombs or other sorts of bombs but Elden Ring in particular does not it gives you these cracked pots that you have a limited amount of and that re replenish when you use whatever you craft with them. They can craft into various kinds of throwing pots, so they limit it to a decent amount. Which is honestly part of the reason that... I'm not sure I was supposed to do that. Well, you know, alright. Use it to... No, that just looped me back around to where I was before. I'm getting all turned around. But... Limits the amount of elemental damage you can apply without really using a magical element to build. No problem at all. Take your time. Just popping in is more than enough. But as I was saying... Oh, okay. So away from these guys. There we go. I wonder if piercing would be better. Hmm. Hmm. How do I... Huh. Anything else around here? I think I'm actually decently close to the fight against the Misbegotten War in the Crucible Knight. Maybe. But I- oh, is- okay, yeah, the- the side of Grace is actually just right over there. So in that case, I might want to- there should be a lever that lets me escape, I think. Lever that lets me open the front gate. Not that it matters all that much. Main thing is, this would be a good time for flame fortification. Just in case. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, can I? I don't think I can get through there. And in what way do I? One, two. Okay. Go past here, and here is our courtyard side of grace. Grace discovered. And I, oh, wait. How did. Okay. Well, that's not fun. Let's rest over here. Just think. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, so I should be able... I think this is a bridge I can go on and maybe open that back up. The big thing is, though I did already take out the troll down the other side, it would be pretty fun to take it out on the battlement. The main thing is, since they haven't seen me... Okay, no, that one did see me. I was thinking I might be able to get the damage bonus for... Okay, so it's more or less five hits to take the cannon out. Not that it really matters, because there's no one to man it doesn't make a difference, but if you haven't seen me, I get a pretty sizable damage bonus. Oh, that was interesting. The cannon actually destroyed the other cannon. 
It... I will take that. We'll take those. Just in case. Okay. And you're over there, and... Honestly, I... Oh, really? Didn't think that would hit. So in that case, let's... Not like that. Frenzy burst. Will I be able to hit behind the cannon? And... Very handily, yes. Okay, so the... Iron Maiden enemy up top is going to be very prime fodder for... Maiden up top, fodder for the... Our main up top should be fodder for lightning spears. It should not be a huge issue. We'll see what happens. How do I do this? Is there anyone else over here, or am I just going crazy? This might be the way up top, but I cannot quite tell. How do I do this? Oh, and oh, okay, I'm mad pumpkin heads right here. I, okay, all right, and can I... Oh my goodness, how did... Oh. I'm just surprised I didn't take any damage there. So this... I will buff up here. No real reason not to. It... will make the fight a bit of a stomp, but I'd rather it be a stomp than I die. Okay. Put that back on, make sure we have two hands immediately so I can use the weapon or right. as soon as we go. Should be more than good. And, oh, you are you gonna fall down or what? And there we go. It, that was certainly something. The runes are... Did I get any runes from that? I think something weird may have just happened. Sanctuary stone. Then a flamberge. Dropping down there is a bad idea. Flame-like undulation, shreds enemy flesh, inducing blood loss, and that's what the imps use, I believe. Scholar and Rot kept at bay with flame at Redman Castle. Bubbit Sword of Jaren's eventually became the symbol of the castle itself. So Castle and Jaren. We'll see, we'll meet him eventually. He'll be at the end after the boss fight, and we can use that to start the Redon Festival when we feel like it. Without having to go to Altus, though to be fair... So you go to Kaelin before Lyurnia, there's nothing really to gain by not going to Altus, I suppose. It doesn't really break any quest lines or anything. Smithing Stone 5, and... It'll be an Altus that'll be able to get a bell bearing to buy more of those, so it's... Tough. And then mount top of the tops of the giants, and then farm Azula, so... Before you reach the halfway point, or arguably kind of the two-thirds point, if you go everywhere as soon as you can, essentially, it takes a while to get bell bearings to purchase weapon upgrade materials. Oh, um, creature, precious item, precious item. So that... Huh. Ill-omened creature. Hmm... And good enough for me. Thank you. Stab and thank you. How do I? Oh my goodness! You've got to be kidding me. Smithing stone and hmm. is there a? There's got to be a. I clearly hear a. Scarab somewhere, but I can't tell whether it's the Hell Scarab from before or It's got to be that Hell Scarab, right? I feel like it has to be okay, But I'm very very careful. I can never mind That was good. Let me see Very very careful. I can jump on Objects in order to check, but I am losing my mind because if it's over around this way, I wouldn't think it'd be the Hell Scarab, but... The question is... Whether there is a good way to get on top of here, and if so... What I could do is go find the Hell Scarab I know about. Kill it, and if the sound keeps going... That is my answer. To whether there is another one, and... Oh, this Wingate cannot be used now, because that is associated with... That's right. 
And oh my, oh my goodness. Can't believe that stopped me. That message. Okay. Right here should be... That health scarab. Unless I am... Well, what I am is confused. But it might... It probably is just this thing, which... To be fair, I do have some flasks I'd like to get back, so this is not meaningless. Thank you very much. Ah. Made some of that stop, but the question is just... If I could hear scarab noises from all the way over here... Is it that one, or is it a different one? And that's what confuses me. Okay. Hmm. I may be losing my mind. Okay, so we go back up. I know from my previous experience in this area that there is going to be one of those Iron Maiden enemies, but ooh, funny little lag spike. Turn down the graphics too. Right? I wonder if we'll get it. How did I not see that thing? Never mind. So in that case, we'll go with Golden Vow. And how do you. Okay, alright. Lightning Spear will be more than enough, presumably. Thank you, and can I... Oh my goodness. Okay, I... Oh, alright. Thanks. Hmm. Well, this is certainly something. I... It might just be Kaled related things. This Kaled is a funny place. But... Hmm. Hard to say. Said precious item. Okay, it does seem as if the scarab I was hearing was that health scarab from before. But even still, this thing is I can go to chamber outside the plaza whenever I feel like it. I know that I can get up even higher, but do I have to find a ladder for that or am I? That is the question. Okay. Hmm. If we open this up. So this will take me all the way up, presumably. Ah, there is my Red Hot Wet Blade. Affinity Red Hot Wet Blade with Cypher, Fire, or Flame Art, so Faith or Strength Associated Fire Damage. Those are pretty good, and I've still got Golden Vow up. Interesting. Let's just keep on moving. Golden Vow just boosts all damage and all defense, so. How do I. Ah, giant. So that one is just over there. The question to me is, if I shoot you from over here, you're gonna jump down here or somewhere else? How much control does it have? And it always jumps down there. Interesting. That, that is a choice. I guess it's to some extent scripted. Hello there, knight. Allow me to, thank you. As soon as you take that down, I am home free, basically. Thank you, and sub, and can I even through the shield? So the question is, this is good, but when I go to Altus, I will be able to get impaling, not impaling thrust, but I forget the name, but the better version that comes, Piercing Fang, Piercing Fang on the Nagakiba. Which actually just in Japanese means Long Fang. It's also the name of a guy from Avatar. But as I was saying. Come on. Get over here. And, yep, while you put your shield down, we'll just. Thank you. Oh my, okay. Alright, that was interesting. And, can I. Another. And, well, we don't need the critical, but. The question is, what's going to be over here? It's in a treasure chest, so it had better be at least somewhat valuable. So what is this? This is... Oh, just a smithing stone six. That... It's not nothing. Okay. Side chamber over there. Anything over here, or am I? I could probably get there by platforming on objects, but I cannot imagine that anything particularly important would be found. It... Just seems pretty empty. Actually, if I 
Yeah, I get the impression that we actually don't find anything, but I do feel like the platform would be fun to do. Yeah, what's over here? What is over here? The answer is a resounding nothing. This is what my life has become. Hmm. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so this will just let me get back into side chamber, in theory. It have been up there, so... To quick teleport to chamber outside the plaza. Big question is what my strongest critical is going to be. Keep that. Gotta see what has the best fire AR. Hmm. Ashes of War in that colony versus fire. It's 2 on 4, which is still respectable. The main thing is that he needs something I can use to smack the Crucible Knight with Repost, because it's going to be weakest to fire. Mart ends. Okay, so Flame Art's gotten better. Fire damage by a decent amount. Interesting. But if I used it on the Quality Curve Great Club, that's my question. And... 279, this is... 260. The question is, if I two-hand it, won't boost the fire damage. Because it'll increase my strength, so in theory it should, because the, the fire is actually scaling off of 240, and now it's 260. Hmm. It's sad, the question is... Oh, so it's taking into account the two-handed AR, I think, when I... Let me see. Strike, flame with the red mains, and... Flaming Strike would also just be good there. That, hmm, does have more fire damage, but significantly less. Yeah, this is still my best option for that point. Let's just see, and Flaming Strike, and this, and follow that up too. Put the fire on it. Exciting. Light that up. Main thing is... Might have to actively switch that mid-fight, is the thing. Bloodhound Spang over there. The main thing is, we might want to... I could do some storage. My chest. Swing the chest automatically. Let's just get rid of duplicate weapons. A lot of Horde Sword and Straight Swords. Full Knight's Great Swords. Multiple Falcons. Lots of four tachets from the times I messed up, and that hero's grave, another club, and in the end, I could afford to toss a number of these weapons, but even still, I think the best sort my physical flask. Strength and dex is still probably my best option. How to remember how to buff up for this. Okay. Oh, but right, it would be. Switch that out for Blood Flame Blade and maybe Tickle Horde's Fortification? Let me see. This could be, well, Divine Fortification. Which is, it's interesting that it's a white color instead of a gold color, though. Should be Blood Flame Blade. And I should be able to down the. Misbegotten Warrior to start without too much trouble now. Sings Boon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. And what's this going? Take this guy out. Mm, but the question is how much I'll be able to. I may as well eat that. Crucible Knight is just up there, and can I. Slam, and there we go, cool, and, oh, how did I miss? That makes no sense. And, can I, okay, how did, what? How did I miss? I, okay, whatever, whatever, okay, cool. Thanks, and, oh, please, all right. And, can I, hmm, thank you, and, there we go, that guy's dead. Means we can switch our stuff out to the club real quick, and put on a shield. 
and die. Oh my goodness, is that? That's car in retaliation, and this is what I need. Big thing is, if I back at medium load, this is tough. I probably reuse a few spells, and okay, fun. How did that miss? Not complaining, but it was surprising me. So the question is now, if I... Oh my goodness, okay. Can I... Mm, funding strike, and there we go, and just dodge it. Mm, just like this, we gotta... And, alright, come on. Let's parry. And, can I... Dodge. Oh, that was a bad one. Give me... Thanks, and there we go. Let's... One... Two... Oh, that's still pretty frightening. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. And... Nice, nice. Another. Mm, but, yeah, two-handing versus one-handing does make a difference. And... and there are, oh my, alright, I messed that up as well. Okay, cool, and... Okay, mm -hmm. Just move in and... Dodge, can I... Mm, not like that, not like that. And... Strike, and I... Uh, mm -hmm. Let's... Thanks, there we go. Take that down, and... I don't really need to use... Anything else for this button right now. Thanks, and... Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right. Slam. Slam. Okay. Keep going for these parries. This guy's kind of a joke with parry skill. And oh, all right. Thanks. I okay. And dodge. Thank you. Can I dodge? Dodge. And can we slam? There we are. Exciting. Take that foot to get. That there and ruins great sword. Legendary weapon. Okay. This great sword, originally rubble from a ruin which fell from the sky, the surviving fragment is honed into a weapon, one of the legendary armaments. The ruin it came from crumbled and struck by a meteorite. As such, this weapon harbors its destructive power. Skill wave of destruction, raise a sword up high and strike it against the ground to fire off a wave of gravitational force. Huh. So presumably that would be from far Missoula does look a bit like it. And that, I would need 34 strength to wield that, and it, it's not even that good. It's some tiny intelligent scaling for its split magic damage, and split damage is generally not all that good anyway, so. Uh, I guess the big question for me is, would I have been better off going for Catch Flame? Because hitting an enemy that's in a knocked state after a repossible state and also just does more damage. <laughs> Honestly, I probably would have done better if I'd used Catch Flame. Well, there will be other Crucible Knights to fight. Well, up real quick, and Jaren should be past here. Some Endurance. Thank you. And I uh, will be some time until I need to parry anything ever again. That mm, heavy armor is generally quite good. Some ashes of war. Ash of war. Put lines claw back on that. I could have used this on. That night for a stance break, but in the end, I will be okay. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Either way, Jaren should be past here. There should be some items to pick up. It is interesting that there's no... Starlight Shard to buy that. Yep, Redman Castle Plaza, Chamber Outside the Plaza. Is no... Starlight Shard pick up by that stone astrolabe. And now, we can't even swing our weapon because Jaren is around here and he's too essential to kill. Slumber Smithing Stone, we got the Wailing Dunes over that way where we'll fight Radon, who is. It is interesting because he, he has this cutscene disconnected from the fight, essentially. 
Especially since he can't talk, so they can't exactly introduce himself. Okay. So then. Can't open this right now. Maybe not ever. Hello. Friend ahead. It's interesting that he's been watching this castle. Hmm, give it tarnished on you. Fun and profit. No matter if you can fell one of them, or a champion. One of them? Well, we took down two. Crucible Knight and a this forgotten warrior. What else finesse not hitting was in ruling? What does that even mean? Only the vanquish. This who could not kill Radon. No, he's not quite dead, is he? The mightiest demigod and bearer of a great room. Hmm. Of a good festival, sure. Well, good. As you should. The festival affords glory to So you can't get this dialogue if you trigger the festival from outside. When the stars align, the festival will be. Talk about stars is relevant to his connection to the Korean royal family about EG. Ah, there we go. Talked about it, Storm. In fact, I do. The next time we speak to Eiji, tell him this. The festival of Radon will surely set Vardy's fate back into motion. Interesting. Hammering out weapons. Are we smithing stone? Well, he works outside. Fair enough. Blunt is stone. All blunt is stone, but not one of them decayed when faced with a scar mm. cross. So anti rot will be declared. Go on this soul. Hasn't any use for you just yet. Go on this soul. Okay. So I could either talk to Why then Shifra if I recall correctly and Castle and Jaren. Okay. I believe it was Castle and Edgar over here before he went crazy upon the death of his daughter, which legitimate to be fair. It's Goris or Gowry or whatever. Okay, so EG, I mean, Blood is in Stifra, by the riverbank, if I recall correctly. Should be over around here, and that should allow me to trigger the Redon Festival. I hear or is that him I hear whistling or maybe wrong? Go to Wolfman. Go to the well depths. Last time I played I used Blythe to start the festival, so I think I will choose another option, but if he's not over here. I think he's back over. Go back that way, past the crabs, you should be able to find him. See what happens. Hmm. But either way, talking to him is a way to start the festival, but it may have started already. Is that him I see, or am I? That is not Blythe. Okay. Huh. So in that case, I think I'll just go over to EG and talk to him. That big question is, is the Radon Festival active now? Because it might be. Some other means. Not yet. Huh. But it, I feel like Wyatt's position in Shifra might be a bit different, or just not there in... Ronnie Selyavis. Hello there. Hi. Greetings, my friend. How can I help? About uh, Nokron. I take it you have eternal city of, of Noxtella. Stella. Oh. Well, Nokron, that other eternal because we fought the Dranekin soldier of Noxtella. Other eternal city. And there was another nameless eternal city though in different depths of locations. 
enter the well, knock one up above. Just summon a meteor to break it. Hmm. Will define the path of leading. Good girl, but it has a flight stone. Not sure where to go from here. Blind. Way to run a step, brother. Prove to him siblings from childhood. Her shadow is an Empyrean. Have you tackle up as well? And that's your flesh, dark path of the Empyrean. She says vassals. Always the days together. And for me, I want this now he has you. Hmm. Eternal City. Okay, expeditions leading there. From here, about Jaren. Haven't heard for a while. General Radon, guest of the Karajan family. Yeah, exactly, which is why he serves them as well. The eccentric. Lived up in some festival. Wait, not see it before. Most oversight will counsel, guided by the stars, spare the Karajan family, including Ronnie. First heir in the Karajan world. Conqueror of the stars. The constellations like the movement and smashing victory. You resume their movement, and a way to run is destiny. So path to Nokron. Please go to the festival grounds. To the festival grounds. Seems like maybe a mistranslation. If you resume their movement, so path to Nokron. Yep. Okay. Alright. So then. The festival should be started now, but I guess my question is, where's his location in Sufra? Sufra River location. And that spawn location. On grounds, staircase, and a cliff. Okay. Showcase of the Hellhorn grounds. Small slope, so it'd be right by there, but I'm pretty sure it should be. He should be gone now. Presumably. Though, to be fair, the Radon Festival had sorted automatically by me going to Altus, if I recall correctly, when I'd last been there. He should be. Yep, he's gone. Okay. I think whether he moved on or not automatically that is some dialogue that I've missed now so go over here the nice thing is that there's a way gate to just automatically send me over now yep and the castle is now completely unoccupied no enemies around, and I can just go through however I like, but if I hadn't collected, and that just gets rid of that. If I hadn't collected my... If I hadn't collected all the treasure in there before, most of it would simply not be there. Hmm. See something? Something. Just trying to think. Okay. Hmm. All right. This just sends me right over here, and yep. Oh, so not only are the enemies gone, but the cannons are gone too. That's surprising. We got that side of race already active. Other one over there as well. Right before that boss fight. In that case, here we are. Probably start talking soon. Why is over here, and he and Jaren are the only ones here in physical form, it seems, interestingly enough. 
Hi, boy. Missed our meeting. Still in one piece. One piece? So it's good running, so it's made in stasis. It's out of legs, bring back into motion. So there's a strong sort of all, pleasingly simple, fight sword and fang. Pray together, see what you're made of. So my question is, let me just see. Blinds dialogue. Meet him over there. Hmm. Fire will be Jaren information to blight its Shifra, oh, but speaking to Ah, I see to talk to Selyavis, who directs you to the sorceress. Together, yeah, that's why that puppet exists, the sorceress. So I missed a bit of that. Okay. Super apologies, not much report. York run right above me, but I'm stumped. Try all the gateways no avail. Ask Selyavis. Despiteful little rat asking like you knew something, give him a squish, don't let's talk with the teeth are, wouldn't go that far. Check on things here, leave it to me, do what you feel is right. Warn things tell the other, reach a dead end, get back to the source. Sell you this does not give a straight answer the first time. It's to me, what news? Still don't understand. The second meeting. It's with Radon, festival being held of combat. In Kaelid, east of Limbury, fight Radon himself. Get on the way to the festival, meet you at Redmain. Okay. E.G.'s story, or the sorceress's story. Interesting. Hmm. I think. Okay. Alright. Just need to check. What is weak to pierce and fire when I have to fight him later? Selyavis says when I talk to him that way that I see about Nokron left you in the mongrel. Hmm. Competent but shameless, no helping it. Glintstone sorcerer, the sorceress in Limgrave. It was me help I gave her when she was expelled, presumably making those stone mage hats look in matters some time ago. Let her introduction go ask her. Oh, and Selyavis's introduction. I missed that then. Okay. Key item. Royal Code of Arms rule. Letter of introduction written by Preceptor Selyavis, Glintz and Sorceress. Contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. Not in a name I ever want to hear again. Help you, my apprentice, offer my knowledge. Starts to alter the fate of the Carmelo family. But of Ronnie, general would challenge them and arrest their cycles. Force that repulse the stars. If he were to die, stars would resume their movement. So would Ronnie's destiny. Okay. We change things out. Radon is weak to Scarlet Rot. We use that on him in lieu of summoning help. Ah. Here's our speech. Exciting. Okay, rolls his arms. All right. So some of these are just summon characters like Greathorn Tregoth, who we can actually kill in an invasion. He won't show up here if we do that. And Scale Finger Maiden Feralina somehow ended up getting turned into a puppet by Selyavis. All of these people, I believe, are renowned ashes. Not legendary, but they are renowned. Just some of them that are just specially strong, and then ones that are just legendary, and then the puppets. All right. Into the freight. So you're made up. So just gives that proper proper belt. And this is Lionel, the Lionhearted, who is kind of similar to the Katarina Knights in appearance, but. The similar character wise would be this pop guy over here, Alexander. How delightful. Thank you. Glad to see you. Thought I might find you here. Know for whom it's being held. 
General Rodan himself? The shattering demigod in the flesh, quiver in the thoughts such as Sprite or Repu. Shows me the ordeal was worth undertaking. Advantage. Unfortunately, brain with this ordeal. Okay. And then this over here is. It's Okina. Luckily, Death. Who will simply invade us later to fight us. He's only hostile in any case we see him in the flesh. Main thing is. Should get on our horse, use Rotten Breath on him to Nightcore. Okay. Mm hmm. Just using Rot would be a kind of scummy, but also a very smart way to take him down. So Magic Fortification would be pretty good. Then we have our Rotting Breath. Got a Dragon Incantation. Dragon Communion, Rot Breath extends durations. Perpetuate Dragon Communion, note is the Dragon Hearted, because they, well, they eat the hearts of dragons. Ha. Huh. I... See how this works. So there's part of me that feels like going to this minor Erd tree to try to get a defense increasing crystal tier. We'll see what happens. But all of this should be decent. He's weakest to pierce. That should be good, but. He just repeats that? Oh my goodness. Just, just keeps on yapping. Okay. Good and prepared, young chum. The festival begins. Ready as I'll ever be. Now we'll get our story cutscene. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. Mm -hmm. See him on his horse. Oh. Oh, and if he's dragging some queen rots too, otherwise we'll try to kill him. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot. Uh, his wits are long gone. Looks like he's hungry. Oh? Oh? Gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. I wonder how they taste. Big guy. Howling at the sky. Because of the stars as well. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, the rebels begin. What about the Empire? Oh, And now the fog gate is up. Heartening cry. Big swing. Church ahead, shore up under the fort. There even now, found corpses howling at the sky. Okay. Cool. And... Hey, that's interesting, because I could teleport out, but... Still, huh? Fog gate over there. Zoom, we just uh, tell you go ahead, and don't go back. Cause yeah, we are stuck right now. We're circumscribed. Okay, but yep, he's weak to rot, so we'll focus on using rot on him. See what happens. Hmm. -mm. Around here, I know that one of these should have a treasure chest or something. So this is open now. It's the end. Gonna be another cookbook or smithing stone six. Not bad. Hmm. And I. Oh, that's right. Those are the only ones I have. So I could take something to plus sixteen if I really wanted to. But so that never opens. Huh. Okay. These banners over here, which are a lot like the banners over in Altus, but makes you wander. Alright. Then teleport to the shore and take that guy on. Stake of America. And down here? Nope. Just a fall to my death. 
Oh, but interesting. I think the teleport might be in part because of the way that this is still technically in red main, so we can't even use our horse here. Oh, and you can see the shipwreck. The teleport might have been partly to circumscribe horse area, and also just to ensure there's no way to retreat. Interesting arena. Yep, for whatever reason, there's a big stop in you over there. Let's buff up, and oh, there we go. Oh, amazing. Okay. Nice. Alright. And can I get that? And oh, amazing. And shoot, and ooh, alright. So you have some of that, but I. Mm, use this to help, but I. Mm, the more we strafe, the better. So just. Oh, oh, well, never mind. I, okay. Thanks. Hmm. If I go on and off the horse, maybe to. Yeah, approaching is gonna be the hard part. And. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, alright. Cool. Now here we have them. Okay. Which means the only thing now is going to be to use Rotten Breath. And, okay. Cool. And, okay. Interesting. And a single cast was enough to proc. Welcome back! We are fighting the great General Radon. By way of using the power of Poison Breath to get him down from range. Because the intended way to... T Basically, this guy is stopping the stars from moving in order to help out our Weege, the Winter Princess Rani. Well, part it's part of her optional, but pretty good quest. I... Oh, interesting. Lots of rocks. Okay, Crag Blade is cool. But... Basically, we're letting Poison take him down because he's very, very weak to Scarlet Rot. Which is what Rotten Breath inflicts. And... Oh, alright. Okay, so just jumping over helps. Yeah, but there are a lot of summon signs in the fight. So you're supposed to use those in part to... Oh, okay. Oh, magic fortification might be good, depending. Lots of... Can we just... Yeah, we can just go past that. Good. So once the poison's down, we will... Reapply it. Yeah, yeah. But there are lots of summoned NPCs that can help have us... Normally have help us, but that is not how I'm doing things right now. What's interesting is that he's actually on a horse. He is... He actually learned gravity magic in the lore in order to continue riding his tiny horse, even though he became a giant, due to the power, presumably, of his great rune. So is he going to... No, it's actually the other phase of Arkhan correctly that makes him... Okay, and... Ooh, alright, not great. I do not want this guy to take my horse down, so... Question is, how can I get in and get another cast of rotten wrap up? I, okay, cool, and no, that did not hit him in the slightest. That sucks. Okay, and dodge it. Ooh, all right. <clears throat> Doing it on horseback is very, very nice, but it's not everything. And speed, though, is also a problem. I, okay. Oh my goodness, that was painful. Okay, all right, and heal, heal, and okay. Hmm, oh no, I'm... Okay, now he's... You'll see what he does. We are weaving the immediate vicinity because, well... Yep, like a true warrior of space. Oh, maybe raw bone arrows could be good. Question is just... Uh, I dodge... Oh, oh my goodness. It's not what I wanted to happen. But I don't need that many more... Let's use the terrain to get away from those rocks, but basically uses a lot of gravity magic. Such as the rocks over there. The Grammy strength. It's not gonna increase my defenses though as a thing. Oh my goodness. But we need to get another rotten breath proc off on him before The rocks aren't coming. The rocks aren't coming. It's a really annoying part. Oh my goodness. Maybe going crazy. So if I have to fight this guy, if I have to fight this guy normally, legitimately. I may be in trouble. How do I want to do this? Come on, and that's what makes you- What? Huh? Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Main thing is, when he crashes down, I need to use that as an opportunity to... proc rot on him again. Because if I don't do that, I'm not really going to have a great opportunity to proc it another time. That said, I might actually... Big thing is, is that the Radagon icon over here is a good way to maybe cast it faster. That would help, but I am running pretty well on Runarx. And it would be possible to do this without, especially since I am using status effects, which their application, at least Scarlet Rot uniquely, does not really have any kind of stat connection in terms of application. For better or worse. Okay. Which means that the amount of application is just determined by the item you or spell you're using to apply it. So, it... It's different. It's different. Okay, and... Oh, I thought I, thought I dodged. Never mind. Hmm. But, basically, we're supposed to summon other people's distraction while this is going on, but... Dodge whenever you... See it coming, and we can actually fire some of those cool gravity arrows ourselves. They're very, very good if you can make them work, too. Okay, cool. Come on, come on, and just... Can I... Mm. And I... One... How are you gonna do this? I... Please... Thanks, and... Can I... No? No proc? Okay. Huh. So I can... Oh, it's because I didn't have high enough. Man, it actually casts the darn thing. I... Okay, this should be... That was still not good enough. How in the... Okay. Huh. Really? Okay. <laughs> Annoying. Thanks, and... Can I... Breathe, breathe. What? That makes very little sense to me. I... Gotta figure out how I can do this quick. I... Okay. Huh. One the... Oh my goodness. I... Alright. I... Huh. Horse is... Fun. It's... Tempting, but uh, damage he deals is just off the charts. The raw buildup is also tough. Just need to wait till he does a full combo or something, but you can see his tiny little horse around there with a bit of a gravity aura. Come on. What am I gonna. I don't. And this fight is very much balanced around doing the summons, but I would not like to. And really? Really? Okay. I should probably... I might actually be best off, instead of using Rotten Breath, using a bow with arrows that inflict Scarlet Rot. Or maybe even there is a crossbow, the Crepus's Black Key crossbow, which has long range and works with Scarlet Rot inflicting bolts. That might end up being what I do, just... If I wanted to fight him without having to deal with all his garbage, just do it this way. That'll be fine. Hmm. In that case... Why not? Why not? I will never use these... For anything else, really, because no one is half as weak to rot. We got bunch of those black key bolts, so question is seeing this on horseback I don't need rotten breath, I really don't oh, the nice thing is that I did send this back up on a lark that is true and I guess the big question is can I use this in one hand or on horseback? I think so well, maybe hmm. so that's gone we'll try this again I do not want to die if I can help it. We'll see what happens. Okay. And... Can you... Oh, you do have to reload it, but yeah, it is... perfectly workable on horseback. Okay. That means the only thing we'll need... or FP for is... various kinds of buffs to get a bit more durability out of this. And it won't be all that important, but I'm pretty sure that still damage of the cross will actually be buffed by the spell. Okay. And... Thank you. 
cool. Alright. Cool. Thank you very much. And... Shoot. Dodge. Forward a bit. Thank you, and oh, alright, and now he's doing Rain of Arrows, so... Ooh, okay. Hmm. Oh, but I don't need Radagon Icon right now, if I'm just... Yeah, let's put some... Oh my goodness, put a Fizz Resist back on. Come on, come on, alright, thank you. Hmm, can I... Okay, cool. Get that back, and shoot. How did that miss? Whatever. Okay, and... Thanks. Shoot. And... Okay. And... This should be... Rot. How is that not rot? Okay, whatever. Some sort of resistance, or... When am I going to be able to... Come on, come on. Start rotting away. I, okay, alright. What in the... Hmm. Please... Is there some sort of reduced status build up because it was... Uh, I feel like there might be some reduced status build up somehow. I have to do some sort of multi volley or... There we are! Wait, what? Huh? 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 What? What? Okay. This is really stupid then. But it takes a lot more than I might like to do that. But I think... Might be able to make it work when he plunges back down with Rotten Breath. Maybe. That was really, really something. Hmm. Because... What is... Storm Scourge for Dawn? Dawn. 60 Rot build up, but... 243. So if I hit with 3 in a decently short time, it shouldn't be a problem, but... That's the thing. Decently short. Okay. I... I don't need to use a Runark here. I've got one left. If the actual damage is not important... Oh, but I can't use Blessing's Boon or Golden Vow right now. That's right. And we're at Heavy Lord too. Yep, and that is the problem with not having a Runark on here. Okay, well, let's just hope that the bolts keep going. Hmm. Tough. And... And... Alright. Oh, tough. Interesting. One. Two. And just... Alright. Thanks. Shoot. And... Thanks. And... Alright. Cool. Shoot. And how did that... Angle limitation is so annoying. How do I... Mm -mm. Rot build up and... Can we... Can we... Really, really... Okay. Come on. Thanks. And shoot. That... Uh, I get the feeling that there's some sort of... Screw going on there, but I... What? Okay. Really? Alright. Mm -mm. Issue was just running out of bolts. I don't have any puffs I can use. Uh, maybe I could try just staying on foot. It... Being on horseback is a bit of a liability, actually. Up until... When I'm not just running away from him, it's a liability. So... Oh, well, never mind. You cannot just... Jump that. Okay. Let's keep on running. Thanks. Alright. And that is something you actually use the horse for. Oh, come on. Okay. Thank you. And can I. Question is now you do that, so. And how can I. Okay. What? Really? Alright. Mm hmm. I... Please. I... What? Huh? Okay, alright. And... Shoot. Kill. And... Dodge. Can I... Shoot. Can I... 
Alright. Dodge and mm, shoot and dodge. Oh, come on, please. Uh, how did hit the cave? You're kidding. And almost there, maybe. Uh, Alright, two. And one, two, three, four, and no. How is this resistance so good? I uh, dodge. No. Thanks. There we are. And finally a proc, but that is worrisome, frankly. Question is whether I'd be able to use Rotten Breath on him. The start of the second phase transition. Honestly, until I have a better supply of Renarks, or specifically need to use things that need Renarks, I should probably lay off into Altus, because this is not green. Okay then. Okay. So in that case we can switch back to Radagon Icon for now. Should be okay. Just wait for him to rot to death. It may be a bit cheesier even than summoning, but it's life. What is funny is that Patches is a summon here. And when you summon it, he just leaves. Yeah, but a full cast should allow me to rot him, in theory. Just out of the way of that, jump that wave. Should be in a position to dodge. Just gotta do a strafe. Should put me in a position to dodge that one attack and- oh, thanks, okay. Cool star color bra. At least it takes a decently long amount of time. Oh, all right, amazing. We are not in a position to get the phase transition off right now. That's amazing news. Okay. One, two, three, four, and can I? And okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And just, okay, and dodge, okay, cool, and just full cast, full cast, thank you. Can we, mmm, that was, there we go, we got Rot up again, how exciting, okay. Dodge, can we heal, and, oh, okay, which means now we run, now we run, okay. Yeah, as far away as possible so we don't get crashed into, thank you, thank you, and, alright, cool, fun. Oh, but the rot proc during... Hmm. Interesting. Come on, come on. Stay out of the way. Ooh, horse got some of it. Kind of a surprise to me. Not in a good way. Okay. Big thing is, is that rot... A third rot proc will kill him. Question is whether I'd be able to do it with another cast of rot in the ground. We also need to make sure that all those don't... That knocked me away for whatever reason. Until the rocks come. Come on, come on. When is he actually going to send the rocks at me? I'm waiting. Can I... Okay, just jump that. Come on, come on. Hmm. Please. There we go. Okay, nice, we got it, and just, can we, dodge it, no, okay, no, not like that, did not mean to do it like that, uh, that was a tremendous mess up, wait, did, how did that inflict more rot, did I, that, I feel like something is wrong here, oh, so, something up with a proc, or, I may be crazy, big thing is, some attacks that are very punishable, some attacks that aren't, Wait until he does a big jump. Two. And three, four, five, six, and five. Okay, cool. Can I? Can I? Mmm, that won't hit. Will that hit? I, okay. I, all right. Oh, never mind. Nice thing is that. And. Oh, what? Huh? I, okay. Annoying. I think. I just need to re equip my. Great at bay and poke him down close up. I think that'll... Oh, thank you, Terrain. That was actually very, very nice. Okay. And just out of the way until those 
Funny rocks stop doing their thing. Come on, come on. Strafe, strafe. Oh. Tough. Even with raw, this was painful. Okay, so dodge it. Okay, I, oh, I did not mean to do that at all. Okay, cool. I, all right, and dodge. How do I? Come on, I just dodge, dodge. Okay, oh my goodness. I, okay, how does he get Psycho Crusher? Okay, well done. Thank you. And that's it. Radon's Great Rune and the Remembrance of the Star Scourge. Fun. Well, you know. Alright. Which means the stars are free. See him spinning. A bit faster than you normally expect, right? Well, it's because they all, all come down at once, because they've all been held back for centuries, presumably. And over in the missed one, we should have our impact site and a way to Nokron. Nokron. Right. So a dungeon here in the dunes. Can't believe they have nuclear bombs in the lands between. Red mark was made on the map. Thank you for that. The only question is, and now we've got this entire desert to poke around, there should be a, one dungeon over there. That Starfall Crater. Alright. Oh, and we cannot teleport yet because we need to activate the side of grace. Okay. That was interesting. Honestly, I might have done better just going for... Piercing hits and dodging normally and trying to stay behind them and going for the funny Scarlet Rot strategy, but the Scarlet Rot the funny Scarlet Rot strategy was just that funny. Human to the Ur Tree, Grand Bounty of Ruins, Red Lion in general, wielded the gravity powers which he earned in Celia during his younger days. So also he'd never have to bend his beloved but scrawny steed. The Tower of Kale, the Void of Any Benediction, Precipice of the Dragon Barrow Shore. Well, we'll go there eventually. Hi, boy. Nice. What a sick way to fight me. The glory of the clash is shared. Thank you. Sick, of course, because I did use. I just curled around. Did you see that afterwards? Falling star right before our Oh, the way over there to No Crown. We're done glazing. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's mm -hmm. meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Okay. Let's meet with a falling star. Maybe we'll go into bio. So I saw a certain thing on the final act. Let's meet and we'll go into okay. bio. Okay. In that case, I uh, could get a couple of levels out of this, which is nice considering I've lost some <laughs> levels effectively to not having a rune arc. So, Wailing Dunes over here. Sir so Scrooge of Dawn. Let's get a couple of levels. Level up, and then we'll take some strength and dexterity. Okay. Gotta love that quality scaling. Okay. And, oh, and I wonder where that sends me. Turn to the entrance, which. Maybe outside Redmain Castle in Towerly? Maybe. The big thing is... Yep, all the way over there, and now... Oh, wait. Interesting. So presumably I have to talk to Jaren again to get him to move out. Some congratulations or something. Right over here, and now it's... That's yeah, still in festival state. Interesting. Some congratulations, and the castle should return back to normal, but because we've already killed the boss, not that that's all that crucial. And... Tregoth, Lionel, Therulina, and... 
It's another battle. Okay, no, we're still there. And Alexander has moved on, but I think he might be stopping at the remains of Radon at this point to incorporate him into the to his fer fermenting jar body. Well, all right. Hello, Jaren. War festival has ended. Have our gratitude. Truly pleased. By madness, one it was an honorable death. Sadly, all I did was add more rot, but at least he died. Zone no longer bound. Task in mind. Wouldn't understand. Stay it, brave champion. And on my way. Okay, so let's go back here, and it should be back in. Huh. Zoom, we have to leave and reload the area. And if the way gate is gone, that will be my answer, and it's still there. Huh. Guess maybe I actually need to go to the Witchbane ruins. Maybe it just didn't do anything more there because it's like clearly out of every single treasure, it might not actually care to turn it back to the previous state. We'll see. Either way, the Witchbane ruins around here will house Jaren's next location, presumably. So, that'll be nice. Hmm. But another source of rune arcs is what I need right now. At the moment, runes are down there. Hmm. School of Graven Mages around here, but we can just safely ignore that. He should be over here having destroyed her spare body and actually no. Huh. Presumably I need to do a bit more reloading of this area. So what will make Jaren go on? Once that is Wicket is no longer active, it that is strange. Maybe I need to go into Nokron. It's possible. I guess the sorcerer's quest line. Now that Radon is free, he'll go try to kill her, actually, but. We will be on her side because the reward we get for helping her is better than the reward we get for helping out Jaren. It's one ancient dragon smithing stone for Jaren, which is nice, but not unique. Versus an entirely unique spell from helping out the sorceress. That is. Yep, Radon's spears and those. Great arrows used by General Radon during the Festival of Combat. In fact, the many spears with which he was stabbed by the Queen Rot Knights imbued with Radon's gravitational power. That will be very useful. Big thing is, how am I going to clear out this area of all of its items reliably? Especially since getting those Radon spears is going to be very, very nice. Because one thing I can make with a re re the Remembrance from taking down Radon is going to be the Lion Great Bow. Which is a very, very good Great Bow. Great Bows are actually very good against big enemies in this game, so... Among other things, you could use them for Dragon Sling, basically. Which is, well, that and just other big enemies. Let's just go down here, check out... Oh, there... Map, he's right there. Hi. Hello there. Marvelously thought, one truly a champion. Nothing but a croc. Literally a bot. Took the crack meat and sets come spilling out. Oh, it's like a coward. Santa face one such as you. Don't give up. Think, don't you think I've given up just yet? Not of warrior's bodies. We down saw me, modern war again in no time. Found here exceedingly fine. Fought in the shattering, greatest of all wars. Grow even stronger the next we meet. Exceedingly fine. Warriors who fought, grow even stronger. Alright. Well, in the end, it may be unpleasant, but it's not cannibalism. He's not a human, he's a jar. What is the measure of a living jar? But around these dunes is one dungeon and a number of, like I said, those Radon Spears arrows, which are especially strong. They have a synergistic effect with the Lion Great Bow, which... It's weapon skill, Radon's Reign, R-A-I-N, not R-E-I-G-N, is exceptionally effective against larger enemies where 
All the projectiles will hit, and I think maybe even hit multiple times it passes through multiple hitboxes on the enemy. I guess the question is, if I use it to engage a dragon, would I be better off targeting the dragon's head or its midsection? I suppose I could just test that out when I actually get the weapon. Get the stats to use it, which would probably require a rune arc. But other thing is that the Radon arrows do to have specifically strong damage against gravitationally imbued enemies due to gravitational power and gravity sorceries never have increased effectiveness against gravity enemies which would be the Estelles, the Falling Star Beast, and the Alabaster and Onyx Lords but the weapons that are gravity associated such as the Meteoric Aura Blade and of course the Radon Arrows and I think the Ruins Greatsword as well let me see Gravity, Elden Ring, Special Weaknesses. It would be... No, the Ruins Greatsword actually doesn't count. It's the Star Surge Greatsword has the highest 30%. Alabaster Lord Sword, Wing of Estelle, Onyx Sword's Greatsword, Radon Spear, Falling Star Beast Star, Bastard Stars, and Meteoric Aura Blade. But the question is... Maybe I just want to try using the Star Surge Great Swords. Because they are very, very good on the gravity enemy. Because I do have a number of available walking mausoleums. So I could just duplicate the remembrance if it meant that much to me. And that is probably, in that case, what I'll do. I'll just make both of those. Ten Radon Spears. Good law. There we can find just columns from before, so let's look our way around the dunes, eventually find that dungeon, which is going to be a hero's tomb of some sort, if I recall correctly. Question is just, what is actually going to be in the area? What is going to be the boss of that dungeon, eventually? It's hard to say. Because the only other hero's grave I've been in had a ulcerated tree spirit as the boss, and that it's pretty hard early on. Hmm. So we got 20 Radon Spears, which will help us out. Big question is how many great arrows Radon's rain will consume on use. Test that out with another kind of arrow, just to see without using up any of my stock of the valuable Radon arrows. Something just died, presumably a Radon Knight killed by one of the rot dogs over by... That peninsula. Hmm. So we've been around here. We can just go up this way. And the hero's grave, I believe, is down here. And that should clear out this statue that points the way to any kind of grave or catacombs dungeon. The hero's graves are rare, and they specifically give the grave glove wards, if I recall correctly, that are specifically used to level up the special spirit ash summons which i don't really use i don't use any spirit ash summons but the question is that a sort of red sandstorm sort of rot inflicted sand possibly okay interesting 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 just take a little scenic tour of the Funny little desert in these wailing dunes. Yeah, Alexander is right there, but presumably once I rest it, it should move him. I believe he goes to Lyurnia next, and after that I think it's just all the way to crumbling far Missoula for him. I think. Let's rest at the Radon Grace. See if it moves him. And the answer is... Yeah, he's moved on. Okay. So I would presume... Here in the dunes, there should be... Let's explore this. Upper right quadrant. And the hero's grave is all the way at the edge, if I recall correctly. And it's... 
It's interesting how big it is for something that is literally just one boss fight's arena. And Radon is actually, if I recall correctly, the favorite character in the entire game of Miyazaki, the director, which explains a number of things, but big thing is they really did go all out, and it is interesting that he's kind of a kind of an extra boss for the early game in that the most obvious shard bearers you would fight to get into Waynedale over here would very, very plainly be Godric and Renala, who the game just sends you right to. To go into Kaled, which is deliberately hostile, it would really mostly be probably the Ronnie questline that sends you there, but to get to the Ronnie questline, you need to go through Karia Manor, and it... I don't know if it does send you there, and that is a questline that is easy to start, but you do have to go a bit out of your way in order to obtain that. It is meant to be... You know, something that happens if you look for it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. And if I recall correctly, he was also just abnormally difficult early on as well. But really, I if I had fought him on foot just using the Great Epe, I think it probably would have actually been easier, which is funny to think about. But what it does seem like is... There are no Radon Spears over this way, which does make sense, because they're all concentrated over here. Since anyone trying to fight him would be approaching from the south side. And the Radon Spears have to be clean right Spears that he shot from his bow. In order for them to be imbued with his gravitational power. Presumably all the Radon Spears, at least the ones you find in the overworld, because you can buy them from Fingerie or Enya over in Roundtable Hole 2, would have to be ones that he picked up and shot himself. The ones from Enya, presumably, were probably duplicated through some means, but... Okay. Gone through most of this desert area, yeah, it was mostly empty. Almost entirely, but... It is, of course, good to check and be thorough. It does seem as if it is empty other than the one dungeon over around here, so let's go over, grab that, and be content with ourselves. Mm -hmm. How do I want to do this? It'd be funny if I could jump up some of these, but it does not seem like that is the case. It is what it is. If I make this work... Hmm. Okay. That is not going to work as a way to drop down. Or get up. So you're not supposed to- you can't get here without going through Redman Castle one way or the other. By some means. So. Oh, but this is right by Rose's action. That's funny. Hmm. But the ghost of the painting is around here, but to get to that, drop down from Dragon Barrow, not from the southern elite part of Kaelid, which is kind of sad. It is what it is. Okay. Thank you, Torrent. It is interesting how Torrent has horns. Because they. The only thing that could even be said to maybe even slightly explain it is that Torrent is a spirit horse of some sort, which might connect him in part to the ancestor spirits over in the underground areas of Shifra and Nokron, but besides that, it. Not much is really said one way or the other. Just see, it's just Radon Spears, isn't it? Three pickups. Killing Dunes. 
It's part of Kaelid, and it's just three things of Radon Spears. Okay, cool. Let's keep on moving. And after this, I will. Let's go to Milk Run and then. Maybe, honestly, Deep Root Depths. It's possible. But, to be totally honest, I. The Crystal Tier that increases resistances might be my best option. Let's see. Clear Sky Underground to my head, all the more keep moving. Okay. That should be way up over here, and I think, actually, I think it's, it might be War Dead Catacombs. So if it is a catacomb, if the Roses, the Roses statue is pointing it to what it should be, catacombs. If it's all the way over here on the tip, let's figure out how we're going to get inside. Keep moving, but it's not... No wizard wall, I don't think. And then, yep, right all the way over here, and yep, it's a catacombs. Over here for some godforsaken reason. Thank you. Guess we can take Rotten Breath out. And these are the War Dead Catacombs. I think that it might be an Urgery Burial Watchdog in here. I. Uh, Dead Catacombs. We're dead Catacombs, and it is... Oh, it's a Putrid Tree Spirit. So in that case, what we should do is... Rise Spell, put... We'll just use Catch Fire. That'll work. I mean, Catch Flame. And then, Holy... I mean, Divine Fortification would be good there. Should be good. Then, instead of that, we'll put our Dreadcrest Shield Talisman back on. This should be more than good enough. It said, actually, I... Hmm, stance Breaks would also be relatively easy to get on that thing. It's tough. Hmm. Oh, yeah, what, what I'll do then is... For one... Physic and put on Flame Shrouding and Faith and Not. And then Ashes of War, Lion's Claw, Flame Art, Lion's Claw. And that's how you do it. Okay. And this should make that Putrid Spirit suffer. What are. Oh, lots of knights. In that case, we should use this. Great epic. The Mausoleum Knights, or it's a bunch of weird, ghostly Radon soldiers fighting with ghostly Queen Rots. It's actually very cool. And, oh, these guys are quite powerful. Okay. Hmm. And can I. Can I. What? Okay, come on. You've gotta be kidding. Hmm. This is interesting. At least I don't have a... Come on. Thanks. Huh. Using... Uh, it's tough. Luckily, at least some of them will take each other out for me, but... Hmm. Oh well. Thank you. Okay, alright. Hmm. So the more I poke around, the more they'll presumably finish some of this for me, so I, all right, and oh, can I, can I, oh, come on, I, all right, dodge, and mm, fire pop is not fun to deal with, okay, thanks, and mm, if, oh, interesting, critical, that, it's not a one-hit kill, though, which is interesting, oh, cool, and we got you, I, oh, oh, wow, okay, come on, come on, and, Focusing on the Queen Rots is probably my best option. But... Uh, how do I... Mm, thank you, and can I... Alright! Instead of the way of that wall. Can I, 
garbage keeps happening, so can I... Mm -hmm. This is certainly something. I feel like they might have lower poise. I'm not quite sure. But what is interesting is that there are no Queen Rot soldiers, only Queen Rot knights, so they're all elites of some sort. Good old Millennium fans or Dawn fans fighting. I guess the big question is, is there going to be any... going to be a single Oyster Bone here, or what? Thank you, and... alright. How did that... probably a poise break from maybe some of the damage that the Queen Rots inflicted? I really don't know. Just... this is pure chaos. I like it. Whenever you get in situations where enemies are fighting each other, it is always just complete and utter peak. Okay. We got... Radon Knights fighting. We got these guys, and we can just spam backstabs, actually, and that is going to work well, but... Oh, and Scarlet Rot. I did not expect that. Okay. Though I probably should have seen that coming. Oh, but no, it was Scarlet Rot from the... Ah, uh, right, and... I don't have Flame Cleanse me on right now. Interesting. Well, I... And I... There we go! Decent enough bolus, but this... This place might be a bit spicy for me. Honestly. Main thing is just, I didn't know this was going to be a Rot Swamp, and it is... hurting me. Deeply and spiritually. Well, we can at least run through and get the items. Silver pick of foul foot, whatever. They're just gonna keep trying to kill each other. Okay. Question is just where is the lever? Queen Rot Armor. Oh nice. That is probably better than what I have. That It's worse. Okay. Hmm. Banish Knight Greaves, if and when I can get them, will probably be my best option. Yeah. It makes sense. All we gotta do is wait for them to kill each other. So, still no center. Oh. Grave Glowboard 6. That, that description is the same as the ones we've seen before. Okay. Pick this up for later. But it really is, how did that hit me? What on God's green earth? Oh, who is... Oh, okay, well, that is painful. Hmm. Big thing is just... I don't have a good way to get out of here. And I'm out of healing, too. I... and I can't cast Blessing Spoon. Not without that great room. Hmm. Well, alright. Thanks, and... Uh, I need to escape this accursed place. Try again with more assistance. This is certainly something. This can just run through if you feel like it. It's still, oh, very very funky place. Yeah, but no golden vow, no. I do still have flame grammy strength, but I don't have access to golden vow right now, and that is not amazing. We can just let them fight each other. Oh, but are they not actually dealing damage to one another? That's interesting. Huh. Just wait then and... Hmm. Thank you. It does seem... I feel like something might be different, but... The fact that I can poise break these guys immediately seems off. It might be the effect of the shield, maybe. Can't quite tell. But it doesn't seem like they're actually damaging each other. Hmm. I think maybe a little, but only when they're falling. It's possible. Okay, cool. And can I? Hmm. Well. I guess that works too. Oh, amazing! Thank you. Can't believe that firebot dealt half of my health. 
over half of my health. Okay. You can wait for them to damage each other while I go around over here. One of them should start shooting at me around now, so... Who is that guy? I... okay. Thanks. And just... Hmm... Can I... Uh, can I... Okay, fair enough. You know, maybe, honestly, I'd be better off having an actual healing spell. Who knows? Okay, so let's just go in, stab, stab again. Thank you. That is still... Oh my goodness. Well, that's intimidating. Yeah, this is not a place I'm supposed to be at the moment. Very clearly. And, okay. Thanks, and thank you. Poise break again. Stab. I feel as if and to death works too. Oh, we've got some flash replenishment here. That would make me happy. For now, we'll just let Queen Rots and others hopefully take take each other out. But the fact that even these pages are rather strong is interesting. I wonder if I'll get a golden seed at the end. If I'm killing a tree spirit, even a putrid one, it should still give me a seed, but that... Oh, hello. Hi. Cruel, I gotta drop down there. Hmm. Not here. Drop a seed and then maybe some ashes. Soldier ahead and then knight. Should hit. Wary of a hand. Soldier ahead, but likely god. Okay, cool. Get some more starlight in here. Another... Well, I can't upgrade this anymore right now. This is the thing. don't have enough level 5 smithing stones. Hello, knight. And, oh, wary of right. Thank you. Stab. And then... That knot. Somehow it was. Okay. Huh. And in that case... See. Went down here. Try to get down here, but... Seems a bit different than what I've been through before. Question is just... Oh, and... Alright. <laughs> oh, amazing. Cool. And... Hmm. Stance at... Oh, my. Okay. Alright. And... Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, right. And... Uh, this is certainly something. Can I... Stance... Uh, can I... Uh, Thank you. I do not get the impression that I can really deal a decent amount of stance damage like this. And, uh, it's tough. If they're shield up, I'm probably in a bad position as far as stance damage goes. And, uh, can I dodge? Uh, at least impaling thrust goes through and... Huh? Excuse me? Okay, this is kind of ludicrous. Okay. Somehow I get the impression that this is not a great place for me to be in right now. Well, I... When have I ever made good decisions? But yeah, they're not damaging each other, at least not yet. It's interesting to me. Hmm... I guess I ought to get closer. Okay. Come on, come on. Sun fighting each other, we will. Backstab you. And can I. Yeah, the Queen Rods are biggest threats by far, so. Alright, we can. Make that work. Make that work. And real they Oh, alright, but they're still focused on each other, which is good. Thank you. Alright. Focusing on me, it's whoever hit them last, more or less. Okay. Cool. And another. Yeah. If they aren't going to be actually killing each other, I can use them to. Keep each other occupied while I take out the Queen Rots. Where are the others, which are 
Kuirats are, of course, you know, the more annoying ones. Uh, more threatening. Always gotta focus on the more threatening enemy first. Yeah, the big thing is, when they use that spear, I am not in a great position to deal with it. Hello then. And, alright. Thank you. Get that out, counter that. Spear, though. Spear ones are a bit harder to counter, is the thing. Okay. Come on. Hi. And just move in. And come in. Go in and come out. Thanks. Alright. Gonna repeat that process a couple of times. Be methodical about this. Okay, alright. Dodge. Can I? Thanks. At least they stagger, which is the important thing. There we go. Cool. Stab again. A couple more hits when he wakes up should take him out. One. Oh my goodness. Thanks. Two. And. Dodge. Oh, well. What? Huh? Fine Claws a one tap. And that's 40,000 runes just gone. I... I cannot afford to use anything other than Ashes of War, then. Because the skills actually stagger and therefore prevent a follow-up, and that is... That was deeply unpleasant. <laughs> okay. Cool. And can I... Uh, oh my... Okay, alright. Who are you focusing on why and how? But the... Gotta fin the numbers. But I can't actually get a good backstab on them, is the thing. Huh. Now you're paying attention to me. Not great. Okay. Can I. Really, really. Okay. Come on. And. What? Come on. Okay. In that case, I will. Dodge. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Alright. And. Okay. Huh. I was counter frame, so I doubt it. Yeah, so it actually was a successful kill, which is nice. Thanks, and can I Alright, if we can preempt you while you got your bow going. Power two. Let these guys take each other down. Come on. Right, thank you. Then cool. Again. Spear one, though, is probably going to be the most irritating. Okay, cool. And, sub, or not. Until we, in a position where I can, mmm, okay. Die already, then. Cool, well, let's get some of that back. Killing everything in here should help out somewhat, at least. Lighten the blow a bit. Soften, soften the blow a bit. Oh, but I think that little effect was showing the counter damage. That's fun. Oh, then. Oh, well, and... Oh, come on. What? Okay, and can I go in and... Golden eyes! Uh, which means more... More rune reward. Okay. That was... Kind of nice. I wonder if more of those spawn in went... After... You die. I can see that happening. Thank you. Thank you. Let me too. Take it down. Another one of these would be good right now. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to do this? That should. But those are presumably imps. Yep, they're imps. How do I want to kill you? Hmm. Go ahead. Go for it. Strike it. Can I? Oh my goodness. That was pretty vile. Can I? Thanks, and... Okay. Uh, Alright. Dodge. Okay, cool. That thrust was actually painful to a severe degree. And can I? Mmm. The damage is good, but... Seems like stance breaking is... Probably because of shield poke type thing. Is that... Dodge it, can I around it? Uh, the aim on that was vile. Vile one. Can I? Okay. Annoying. Hmm. 
Okay. Give me. How fast is your stance gonna recover? Is the question. I dodge a Thank you. Mm. And you're gonna roar. And dodge and can I? Okay, cool. Go around it. Okay, loop around to be pulled forward. It works decently. So I dodge. Do not. Oh, can I? Mm, can I? Thanks. Uh, this guy is vile. What? Huh. Gonna be an item at the end worth getting, or can I? Thanks. What? Can I? Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Painful impression here. I dodge. Can I? What? Not, okay. Nonsense. Some nonsense. Okay. Thanks. I. Hmm. Use your skill and can I? All right. There we go. It only took forever. Oh, let's pull that lever then. Okay. Hmm. Getting the golden suit will be good though, so. Raise the flower. All we got for our trouble were three gray violets. I would not call that worth it in any sense of the word. Okay. Well then, now then. Go down here. This is an upper area, but. Oh, but on the club we've got. Flame, but this should still be okay, I think. Just lines call out these imps. Thank you, and oh, alright. Interesting. Huh. One and oh my goodness! How is a queen or not queen or not here of all places? What in the okay? Alright. Some nonsense. Huh. Going back in or Oh, they're fighting each other. Well that's good. We can let that happen. Yeah. Taking good damage, too. Question is what those imps are trying to... They're just trying to find me. Okay. Huh. So if you stay over there... That's the question. Can I... I think I hear them coming, but still... Huh. I... I don't quite know how I want to feel about this. To exit that, though, is another question. Maybe I should have taken healing on my flask. It's possible. It's an idea. Okay, so... Dodge it. Can I... Swing and... Okay, got the anti-air. Come on. I made a... Uh, uh, mm. Alright, then. Swing and can I? Oh my! What? Oh, you got to be kidding! Oh my! Now of all times, really, really? Okay, can I? Such a bad position for this to be in. Okay, can I? Oh well, you know it actually killed it for me now. Fun. Okay. Big question then is, do I want to do all the rest? This should be good, but the question is just what's. On the other side, I... Might be a great bow opportunity, frankly. What's here? This is, oh, the Radon Soldier Ashes. That, the two Radon Soldiers, fire weapons, powerful skills, valor, that they, which is their valor, immediately attack after being summoned, all repeat to be Master of Wars. Popularly said that the Red Maintens knew no weakness. Alright. And, okay, cool. Thank you. Going down there is a mistake, at least right now. But, what I could and probably should do is use my Golem's Great Ball to shoot that guy out without him and go on the other side. So, use that. Zoom in. And, okay. Cool. Thank you. And, can I... Hmm. This is certainly something. Can I... Hmm. See what I can do without breaking lock. And can I? Can I? Oh, all right. That's nice. Knock you over. Oh well. It sometimes you'll just send yourself over the edge. That is also more than fine for me. We have glove board. Then we can finally open this up. It only took forever. 
Heavy doors open. Gray violet. That and anything over here or somewhere I want to go home. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Either way, we've got some stuff going. It's exciting. Hmm. It ends. Mm -hmm. That said, I could fight these guys with pierce weapons, presumably. Just took the Epe out. I should be okay. Maybe. But there's another imp down here who I may as well may as well see what it gets up to. Hello there, hi, and stab, 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 stab. Nice. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. And any more? Well, big thing is there should be stuff around here. Where we have left. That then is just the way back. Okay. Hello there. Hello, in. Let's put our fire flame art curved gray club back on. Cool. Swing. Critical. Kill. Glad I checked. Okay. And there shouldn't be all that much left. And this this glove work for it. Oh, hello there. Hi. Huh. Can I swing it? Oh my goodness. And that that was fast. Oh, but it's got a hatchet on a great Okay. Hmm. Which is how I'm gonna get up and maybe try to take that one night down. I they're not dead yet. It's the craziest part. Be a good way to get back up top without getting rotted. Well we'll see. Come on, come on, and just Mmm, a queen rod down there. And beyond that, we mm -mm. We can just let them find this out amongst themselves. Actually, before I take out that tree spirit, I think, I'll just try to kill everything in the first area, but still one knight over here, and it's Mr. Great Bow himself. Okay. Hello, hello, and just thanks. Alright. I don't want to kill everything in Hero East Wands. This is the way to do it. Okay. Thank you, and oh, I. No, never mind. Okay. I may be stupid. I didn't think he was going for the lion spawn, wake up. I guess I should have been less stupid. But, but... I am in a pretty good position to get that tree spirit, so... I'll just run through and get that back, kill the tree spirit, and content myself with the results. Can't cast that, can't cast Golden Vow either, but... Flame Grammy Strength will work on the physical and fire portions of the damage, so that might be nice. And it is decently staggerable than enemies, so it should be nice too. What a silly place. Okay. Pop our flask, pop our buff. And then try our best. Okay. Have that on so I can replenish when needed. Hello there. Mr. Putrid Spirit. Tree Spirit. And oh, how did they not hit? Never mind. Okay. And oh, that should be rotten, presumably. And oh, the damage is really good, too. Okay. Huh. And then we... It's like this. And can I... Dodge. Can I... Slam. There we are. This is... Kind of trivial. Okay. Now that is very, very good. Let's just replenish our buff. Okay. Oh, nice. And it's rotten, too. Amazing. It's the best part. And nice. Cool. And I swing. Swing. And okay. And mm, dodge. Can I. Mm, Alright. Okay. And really. Okay. Can I. Oh. And another. Another. And. Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, okay, did I... Really? 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 Okay. You know, I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> it is a good thing that I did not have a rune arc equipped. But, yeah, Lion's Claw on 
flame art curved great club is a very capable way of making this work. But I do actually want to kill all the guys in the foyer before I well and truly leave this place. But I think Nokron should be a good goal for this stone. I don't think it'd be a problem. The big thing is that Lion's Claw wasn't hitting. It's the craziest part, really. Okay. Cool. Take that. Two-handing actual won't make much of a difference at all. It's part of why this is also better. It's, oh, oh, okay. I did not expect that part either. Okay. Cool. Nice. Can I... Mm, dodge. Dodge. Can I, mm, never mind. I, okay. Cool. Slam again and slam one more time and... Oh, uh, I really... I... Alright and... What? Okay. Uh, okay. Getting three off in a short amount of time because it's got 120 stance, I believe. And every one of these lion's claws with a big heavy hammer with a great hammer class weapon deals 42 stance damage, which opens it up for a critical and therefore big damage. But... Also... Actually... Let me think. It's a fire damage. It's immobile for long enough that I could use some Miseracord memes, most likely. That... Uh, still not enough for... It's 12 on the Miseracord. Which is a war. Miseracord and... Go with... Flame Art. That will 142 versus... I think... It's worth a shot, especially since if I've got Determination. It stays down long enough that I can switch, use Determination for the... Big damage boost for the critical. That would be very, very good. Getting hit there, taking that strain is not good, though. Ah, Putrid Avatar. Putrid Avatar. Okay. Thank you. Lion's Claw. Shouldn't be a problem much either way, so... Until you do that, and... Cool, can I... Slam, and... Can I... Slam again, slam... Okay, nice, and... Just... Take that out. There we go, nice, which means we can... Do this. Cool, and... Stab. There we are, and... That's actually not that much different. Okay. Fair enough. Then we could use this in the meantime. Cool. Alright. Thanks. And just... Can I... Mmm... Dodge. And can I... Thank you. Thanks. And again, again, and... Mm. What are you gonna do next? You're gonna... Can I... Attack the... There we go. Nice. Okay. And... Another. One. Two. And it's... Actually about the same. That kinda hurts. One. Two. And... Come on, I, I just got too green. That's the thing. It actually went really well until I thought, you know, maybe I'll just do two more hits. This is not how I should have done that. Okay. That's kind of sad, but maybe more upgrades might help. Big thing is that I'm pretty sure that the best critical weapon is by far, I think, the Executioner's Great Axe. I'm pretty sure that I might try to do a bit of farming for it, but we'll see. It's just, hopefully there should be more rune arcs in other locations, but I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Go in, we got my runes back. We going for a few lion's claws on big guy over there. One, and can I, nope, nope, never mind, and can I do that, or can I, oh, please, I, oh, wow, okay, huh, well, that was painful, so the question is, does that deal holy, does every single spell that inflicts 
Scarlet Rot does physical damage. Putrid Tree Avatar. Tree Spirit. Putrid Spirit. Tree Spirit and It does inflict holy damage. Okay. So presumably it has the unique honor, I suppose, of being the only enemy that deals holy damage that specifically inflicts Scarlet Rot. Though to be fair, the Queen Rots are kind of similar, arguably. Maybe. And that if they get that stab, grab attack off on you, it does, I'm pretty sure, guarantee a rot proc. But even then. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, but I didn't cast Flame Grammy Strength. Well, whatever. We should be okay. Maybe I. Alright, go over it. We could not make that work. I, okay, alright, thanks. It cannot dodge and. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, alright. Thank you. I, really? Okay, thanks. Again. Cannot. Go, oh, please. Alright. Cannot. Go for your breath attack or something. I, okay, and another. There we go, cool. And heal, recaster, flame, grant me strength. Got a couple of things done. Thank you. And cannot. Is that? Oh, not enough, not enough. Okay, cool. Thanks. Cool. And I, just like that, and can I? Oh, really? Okay. Cool. And dodge it. Really? Really? Okay. Ah. Whatever. Uh, all right. Yeah, because it's... <clears throat> it might be due to the specific infusion on the Zeracord. This quality helps it decently. So it scales up with dex and strength, but using any other elemental infusion, you're not really getting that in the same way. Big thing for me is... Uh, I do wonder how much Executioner's Great Axe would deal in comparison. Especially since switching it would be tough on a lot of smaller enemies in terms of getting all my stuff back. Okay. Come on, come on. Make it happen. Cool, and... Jump, swing, and... Okay, that worked. Dodge, and... Can I make that... Oh, uh, really? Okay. Annoying. Swing, and... Can I do another swing, and... There we go! Nice. Knock you down. Some healing, do some buffing, and should be good. Healing, punishment, buffing. We should be fine now. Okay, cool. Question is, let's stand close and see how we can. Thank you, or not? And oh my goodness! I all right. Let's don't use your. Mm. Oh, how did that? I didn't think that would work. Okay, that means we heal up again. And can I heal? Mm, just dodge and can I mm, dodge? Can I? Oh my! Okay, just get out of the way. Can I avoid that grab attack? Can I? One, two, and swing it. Okay, I guess not. I, all right, annoying. Pretty annoying. I, okay, and another and dodge. Wait, what? Okay, we need one more quick, one more quick hit. I dodge and can I swing it? Okay, there. We, what? Huh? No. What? How did that not kill? That's ludicrous. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna try that approach one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna spin catch flame on it. Because good DPS, good damage, and I don't have to worry about other stupid garbage. I can just smack it and be done with it. Actually, kind of the opposite. It's fire, fire, fire. But there's... I wouldn't be getting stance breaks is the thing. Which, given how relentless the enemy is, having stance breaks as a way to break up the pace of the fight is pretty useful. But, you know... If I had a nickel for every time I had a bunch of trouble with a tree spirit enemy in a totally optional dungeon, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's strange that it happened twice. Okay, 
and, and okay, nice. Now I should make that work. And, and I, oh, please. Slam it. Slam. Can you this? There we go. Cool. It's so good. It's so good. Have to uh, this dance break potential. There we use that. We use this and buff up again and try not to get. Huh? How did that hit me? Was it a roar hitbox instead of a explosion hitbox, or maybe it was in front of me and I didn't see it because I was pointing the wrong way? Okay, that was unpleasant. Oh, so in that case, yeah, we. It's time to switch to catch flame. Like I said, I would. Put on our golden order seal run over here. We try that again. Hopefully this will work better. We'll see. But yeah, at least I'm not wasting or you know, like every single time I die here. It's a hard enough boss that the buff would actually be quite handy, but I don't know. Hmm. The big thing is, as funny as the gimmick was, I probably should have tried. Different reproach were done, and I did not mean to do that. That was very, very stupid. Okay, flame grab me strength. Catch flame, and this should be helpful. Okay, cool. Focus for spots I can burn up reliably. And can I. Nice, nice. Mm, I. Okay. Mm. This is. The damage, though, is done. Mm. It actually leaves quite a bit to be desired. Yeah, I. Lion Squad's actually doing a lot more damage. Okay. So that is not how I'm doing that then. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. It's interesting, I will say that much. But even in spite of that. Cream art curved great claw. Flame, grant me strength. Hmm. Okay. Go over here. Try this out. Try it again. Hope it works. It... Some of it will be a bit of a lock in terms of explosion placement or raw pillar placement and other stuff, but in the end, it, I got close a couple of times. I just need to get a little luckier, I think. Probably. Thank you, and... Well, pop that down. And we hit, hit, and... Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, and can I... Dodge, dodge, and can I... Okay, another, another, and... Swing! There we go, cool. Have to endure a few trades, but that is precisely what Lion Squad is for. Thank you. Thank you, and... Can we do that, and can I... Okay, this should be. So I guess there was another nearby explosion hitbox. Makes sense. Can I swing it? Can I? Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. I. All right. Mm -hmm. Dodge, dodge. Okay, can I swing, swing, and okay, whatever. Swing it. Oh, I got too greedy. If if it's one hit away from stance breaking, I've gotten two hits. I can afford to try to go for a third, but. Otherwise, I need to be paying the most attention to my health over anything else. What does kind of bother me is just damage that I take. I... This is contentious. But I should get... Hmm... I think it requires five at this point for flask. Additional flask use would make sense. But, either way, another golden seed is always welcome. I should be able to get more around Wendell, so we'll see. Come on, come on, and can I swing? And swing, and okay, oh well, alright, and one more, and just can I never mind it, okay. Thanks. Well, I... Okay. Whatever. This is some weird nonsense. I, okay, just... Can I... Can I... 
Can I? What? What on the? Goddamn. Okay. It's just. The lack of connections is what was really, really bothering me. It's. The attack was just not connecting. Why in Skull is good? It gets a fast stance break. It's probably the best stance breaking tool in the game, especially now that Flame of the Red Mains is garbage now. Yeah, because for a while, Flame of the Red Mains was by far the best stance break tool. But. Patch that out sometime last year. Actually, I think sometime a couple of years ago, because it was. A lot of build tutorials, but you know, very suddenly stopped being in it. Stopped being in them. Okay, cool. And just can we mm, slam it? Miss entirely. Okay. And I, what in the? Okay. Weird. I. What is the meaning behind all this? That's my question. Okay. Well, another, another, and what? Oh, come on. The annoying thing is just having to get that rune stain back every time. That's it. Inhibits my ability to position myself. Get a few hits off right at the start. Other thing is also, if I was... A bit more... Maybe in a bit of a different position for healing and rebuffing, I could try to... Hit it while the explosion, while the big rock pillar attack is going on, and that could allow me maybe to... Uh, get a second poise break off faster, but the second part of the thing is it's still just vile. Okay, come on, come on, gotta run, gotta run. Can we do that? And can we get the arm? And can I dodge? Thank you. And that's a good attack, actually. That's a very good attack for us. Swing and. There we go, cool. Nice, get that off. All we need is this then, which means we might be in a good position to settle away of that, and cool. Nice. Roar, thank you, cool, and can we get one in and slam it, nice. Another, and can I, hmm, never mind, okay. Can I, heal, heal, and can I, dodge, can I, dodge, hmm, thanks, can I, Hmm. This is bizarre. Thanks, and just can I get again and that did not quite do it. Not quite do it. And swing it! There we are, okay. We'll need a bit of a buff after this. And flame grammy strength is still up, which is good, but we'll need a bit more after that, so just can I Question is I hmm You're very, very Frenzied now. Okay. Swing it. Another. Another. I. Never mind. I. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Cool. Swing and kill. And another hit. Another quick hit. And can I. Kill. There we go. Finally down. Took forever to kill that stupid thing. Oh, Red Man Knight Oa and a Golden Seed. Nice. Okay. And a good amount of runes. Red Knight Oa, the Red Man Knight. Mighty Knight versus the use of a great bow, attack immediately after being summoned, Valiant Warrior, along with a certain number of their Red May Knights. Always oh, study techniques to manipulate gravity along Cypher Dawn. Use a rain of gravitational arrows in response to a war cry, but only once. Okay. Let's raise the question of Oa oh, is the one outside Fort Gale. I'd be fair, that one was more than one rain of gravitational arrows. No cron, knock run should be open now. So should level up a few times first. Okay, and oh no, we we got another. Nice. In that case, now we need five. Now we need five. So I guess it's Hmm. Well whatever. Level up and what we want, we can get a bit of faith, a bit of mind, sure. Make a difference some way. Doing pretty well for ourselves. 
was it 22 in every stat, but we are reaching points where it's going to get a bit tougher. Big thing is there are red mains here, and I think I'm going to find them. Well, queen rods, red mains. This will help a bit. Additional physical damage should be of some assistance, so I... Oh, hello, I did not want to fight you. But if you're going to make it... If you're going to force the issue, I guess you might as well. Oh well. Stabbing. Oh, that's inauspicious. Cool. Question is, how I'd get over on the other side. Thanks. Stab. Stab, 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 stab. Okay, cool. Hmm. Find like all of those Queen Rots, and I don't have Flame Cleanse Me is the thing. Can't craft right now because it still counts as being in combat. Hmm. It's fun to use the Grey Bow to take that one. Red main knight out, but we'll see. Thanks. Stab again. Alright. Down and... The big question is, now that I've actually got Spectral Lance, a Colt might actually be a better option than... a high. Quality, depending. I can just keep on stabbing this guy. No effort needed. The thing is, right over here is a good spot to take the Queen Rots down. Depending. The issue is there are a number of them. I. Uh, the more Queen Rots I fight, the more... Oh, well, alright. Mm -hmm. The more Redon Knights I kill, the more Queen Rots will be left, and that is... Not necessarily something I want to countenance. Okay. And can I... Cool. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Tough. I, okay. Dodge. Really? Re what? No. 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 Come on. Okay. Stupid. 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 Big thing is, I think gravity will be good to bring that one Rapunzel Knight down. Let's see. But I could take on as many of those Rapunzel Knights at once as I really needed to. It's all about focus spotting the Queen Rots. In the end, it's not as if I need to kill these guys, but it's fun. Okay. <laughs> but the one talisman that gives me more intelligence is actually locked behind Ronnie's questline, which kind of sucks. It is what it is. So I won't be able to do that until I can get to Divine Tower of Urania, which is still a decent way off, I would say. We'll see. It's all about just... Rune arcs, rune arcs, rune arcs. Hi. Okay. I should probably just go and sort of vulture with hits from. But all of the queen rots are just here in the rod. You know, there's no reason for them not to be, because they're immune to it. Oh, and there's there's an item down here. Okay. Big thing is, I should probably put Flame Cleanse Me back on if I want to do anything around here. But what I could do first is just get whatever items in there. Yeah, I will. Oh, there. And this is... Oh, this is where Collapsing Stars is. That's fun. That was nice to get. And that... Can't use that. Gravitational projectiles, first struggle to pull towards the gas, enhanced potency. To by the young Radon, Th I thank you for your tutelage for I can now challenge the stars. You know what? I'm just gonna use the Grey Bow. I uh, well. Alright. At least it's right there. Hmm. I'll just stand there and shoot. That should be fun. And they're weak to piercing, they don't have any real way to defend. So, I'd still need a bit more, is the thing. Hmm. Don't flame cleanse me. Should help. There we go. It's build up, cures poison, and scarlet rot. Okay. Hmm. Oh, then. 
Well, then. Still don't have quite enough right now, but still. Put on the Golem Grey Bow. Golem Grey Bow. Should be good, and it's still a heavy load. Incredible. That is also still a heavy load. That is not all that pretty looking, but it works at least. Let's let the flame grant us some strength. And then start shooting these guys. Sure, sure. Run through is nice. Let's just use. Well, never mind. Okay. Huh. Well, you. Uh, you don't know what's good for you. Stay out of my way. Hmm. Stab, stab. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, flame grab me strength again. Go down somewhere where I can just shoot at the clean rods. That should be decent. Okay. And, hmm. That, yep, it's quite good. Nice. Oh, what? Uh, uh, never mind. I'm stupid. Why is... Huh? I'm trying to help you, at least right now. Okay, whatever. Can't expect anything other than the most rank stupidity. Is that... Is that the bow, or... Hmm. Well, it... It helps. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, and they drop something of a real note, and that's... Oh, a tree is loading. Okay. It's interesting that even as a pickup, it still shows that. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I... They're all in relatively inaccessible locations for me right now. This is the thing. Hmm. Let's keep on poking around down here and see if anything else... Probably not, but even still... Back up here and reposition to continue shooting. Yeah, but the fact that there were just a bunch of queen rods around is kind of funny, honestly. Focus on the harder enemy to fight. Thank you. Nice. We should use. Oh, not enough. Okay. Oh my. Okay. All right. Not great. Well, I, if I fight them on solid ground, it might be okay. This, how did that rot me? You're kidding. Come on. And just, mmm. Come on, I, alright. Uh, all rot. Not like that. Okay. Okay, well, mm -mm. Give me that. Give me that. Get that back on. And... Oh, well, I could just... I... Of course someone's trying to get me from here. Always, always, always. You... Okay. Can I... Mm. Please. Please. Two. Uh, three. Four. Mm. Stab. Thank you. Now the queen rods are right here, so... If I'm lucky, though, I'll get in a position where I can actually reasonably take them down. Maybe. And I... Thanks. Alright. Stab one. Thank you. Cool. Stab again. Hmm. It's, it, it is interesting, but... How many are left? I... Uh, a couple over there, a couple over there, but... It is these guys I most have trouble with. It's Queen Rot. They're all just elites. And uh, that not hitting is not great. Oh, that that was good. It was more than good. That was incredible. Okay. So, the Dawn Knight is here now too, which is not good for me. Thank you, and can I... Hmm. Can I... Alright, well, we got the critical. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
How many more and where? That's the question. Not a good amount of Crimson Flasks, though, especially since we got that upgrade. But even still. Oh, look! Two Queen Rots. Amazing. Okay. Come on. I can worry you out over here. I can. Mm -hmm. Can I. Thanks, and dodge. Okay, thanks. Can I. Can I. Again, it. Can I. Oh, oh, what? Never mind. Can I. Thanks. Take you out. In part. The Redone Mites might actually be a bit more annoying than the Queen Rots. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Come on. Focus on. Thanks. Thanks. And can I. Cool. Poise break. Some stance break. And we. Try that again on wake up and stab. Cool. Okay. Nice. Hmm. How are those Queen Rots going to go down, if at all? I... Mm -mm. Alright. Cool. And... Oh, but... That... Got the wrong guy going. Not good. Uh-oh. Well, whatever. Okay. If I have to fight two of them, absolutely have to, I could probably make it work. It's just not ideal. And guess who's running now? It's me. Okay. Huh. And I, really another redonda soldier and I can I Okay. Just dodge uh, Flim Quan's me, Flim Quan's me, and I come on, just just don't 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 uh that was a gamble, but it was worth in the end. Is it are there infinite redon knights in here? It's certainly possible. I uh, big thing is I doubt the Queen Rots respawn. But this is just sort of the infinite, never-ending fight between the red mains and the queen rots, I suppose. It does give me the impression this is somewhat infinite, at least. Maybe. But so they might be just going over in another location as compared to where they've been before, but even still, I. What? Okay, alright. Can I. Hmm. Oh. I. Yeah, it's infinite. It's infinite. Okay. Well, main thing is, I want to take that on that one bow guy. It'd still be very possible if I know what I'm doing, so. Well, killed a few. That was fun. It was, I wouldn't say it was for nothing, but it was ultimately not, did not fulfill what I expected it to. Mofully under fulfilled promise. Okay. Just dodge. Can I. Thank you. And can I. Pull? Yeah, we can make that work. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, what? Just one tapped. Okay, cool. That also works. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, at least I've got enough for another cheeky upgrade, but. Don't need that on there right now. It said it. It's got higher AR than Radon's Lion Great Bow, but even still. Well, we'll see. AR is not everything. Hmm. Because the AR is better, but at the very same time. Dodge and connect. Thank you. Thanks, and. Alright. Out of the way of that. Cool. I'll just kill that one remaining red main knight. And. Thank you. Cool. Stab. Stab. Okay. Last time I tried, he had too much health to make that work. I mean, I didn't have enough health last to heal. Him. Got me down the low. Okay, cool. And just. On wake up, we'll do that again. And there we go, it's all done now. Okay, we can quit ourselves of this accursed place. Go do Nocron. Get to see her aqueduct. Probably go to Deep Root, actually. That could be cool. Let's level up one time, and that'll be more arcane. Interesting. It's more discovery, but. Yeah. 
Let's go back to Enya. Can probably pick up great swords and a bow. Pass to your hello. Incantation. Oh, but right now, presumably, I think. So the Dawn Festival has started. Thea should, I think, give me that weathered dagger. So again, sure. And I don't need that. I don't need the Baldekin's blessing, but even still. Okay. Alright. Okay. You are so Very warm and the Elves mask a thing about Rajir. Handed here Rajir, positively elated. Great mental fortitude. Increased real stains him despite his grievous wounds. Truly a champion. Here myself too. Oh, a sacrificial twig. And ask a favor. And that's her. Something of you. Owner of the dagger. Return it to that other dagger. Give it to me as a gift. Precious. Owner's heart. And that would be Rajir, presumably. Have it back if you wouldn't mind. Dagger. Return to them. Okay, cool. Good day to you. Okay. Cool. Should move, I think, maybe after Rajir dies. Hmm. Takes a while. Kind of painstaking. Case, Fia Death Bed Companion, rightful owner, gold and silver intertwined, now worn down and marred by a black gash. Hmm. So is D is still here, so this should send him to Sheefer Aqueduct. For you, weather dagger. Have you here? Hands of that dagger. Hardly matters. Know what whose it is. Turn it to them for you. Work me this to me. Okay. Anything else? No. With that, send him on his way. Okay. Anything else then? Or, hello. Mm. Dang. Too sickly. Did return that, so I guess the question is, is Fia going to be there, or... That is open now. Okay. Let's use this just to get my HP back. Okay. So then, just moved over here. More is open now. It's not open. And that, oh, it's, D is dead. These bell bearing twin helm armor gauntlets and greaves. And many thing to say or huh. Parish Plus, it's got a holy glow to it. Gold and silver, two known as D are inseparable twins of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together, not one word do they speak to one another. Such armor longs to find its way to the other D. Okay. Okay. Finally. Turn to its rightful place. Hello, Brent, the exalted noble. The exalted noble. That. Now, I must bid you goodbye. Godwin? So I ask you deliver this message to the round table. Mm. I am Thea. Holding her arms out. Companion. Heart crowned table. Disturb not the death of Godwin. The exalted. So did she kill him or? Manipulate the black mark. In waiting, to one day welcome our Lord. The persecution of those who live in death. To object. Hmm. Our Lord will rise. That would be, Lord yes, God one. And meek. Hmm. Well, goodbye. We will see her later over in Deep Root Depths. Well, she's gone now, so we can't use the Bolican's blessing. Not that I ever really did. I wonder if my Godric, I mean, might you have anything to say about that? Or Wayne Hill, has it no longer? Way to the Elden Ring. Nothing there. Okay. And Dung Eater is not open yet because we haven't been to Altus. <clears throat> Question is, though, is Nefeli left yet too. Is Kenneth Hyde actually no Kenneth Hyde is over there still, so presumably I will have to actually go to Altus to make him change position. Okay, cool. 
And her as well. Okay. Go back, buy the swords, buy the bow. But we gotta do some duplication first. That's right. Okay. Can't talk to him. Turned, what is it? Equipment of champions that includes the Redon Spears too, which is nice. Red Mane Helm, Golden Wine, Flowing Red Hair, Furious Flaming Hair, Father Radagon, Founder of Trophic Implications, Born a Champion's Cub, and I'm the Lord of the Battlefield's Lion, Idolizing Godfrey. Godfrey, First Elden Lord, Beast Regent, Sarraj, Youngest Seers, Naturally Captive by the Lord of the Battlefield. Okay. Do that in a bit, but. These are good. We can get the Star Surge Greatswords, Kirk Greatswords of Black Steel. Will by General Radon, decorate with the Lion Mane motif, Silver Renown as a Star Scourge in his youth, during this time, engrave the Gravity Crest upon these blades. Star Caller Cry, Skies, Gravitational Waves, with Gravity Infused Swords, and that. Could I, with a Rune Arc or a Star Scourge arrow, I could wield those. Huh. There's also a version without them. Line main motif, gravitational power of the Star Scourge, with Radon Spear, true weapon of a champion, Radon's Rain, Rose Dance, four of arrows in the sky, pour and foes like a rain. Then the Urd Dream. The Scepter of Renal, Queen of the Full Moon, Karian Blue, Full Moon Sorceries, only of highest intelligence may wield this. Find us of all Gwent since days, but actually Wasats is better. So would Prince of Death for a specifically spinning weapon, and it, it we will not reach that intelligence. Scepter midair, spin violently, touches, suffers successive magic attacks. Sorcerer symbolic, crying full moon, since it's floating towards both. Spells of sorcery touching it, reduces magic damage education for those it strikes. Shaking moon, she was young, leader of the Wish of the Academy. Is that, and go forth, and words of the fingers guide you. Let's get one of those, then go duplicate and get the other. May as well. Closest one would be one down over here by Tomb's Word. Replicate that and then. Yeah, knock her on. Might even be able to fight the gargoyles today, but I'm not quite sure. They would be great fodder for the. Lions call on the club, so. Very weak to strike damage. Not much else. Go over, over to that mausoleum over there. Duplicate our remembrance. Get rid of this now. Yeah. Get rid of the mausoleum. Make use of it. And we can even stay on the horse. Then let's make another one of those. There we go. Cool. And that's done. No more point of that mausoleum, so now we can make the bow. Those will be good options to use on gravity type enemies. Presumably. Bit of upgrading would be good too, but we'll see. Our remembrance, and we can't get the great bow. I mean, we can't get the swords because you can only get each option once per playthrough, but New Game Plus allows you to duplicate them if you feel like it. Let's go to Hugh and level up the things we just got. We're dead, all the same, whatever it was. Armament, and we got these, which we can level up for later. So many smithing stones. Like that. And then we'll go for the bow. Be stronger too. And we do meet the requirements for it. That's nice. It's 268. This would be... Hmm. Yes, we could, but... 287, but... The skill on Radon's Reign is better. I'd only be using to just blast things anyway, so not too worried. Okay. And okay, they are gone now. All right. So that means Jaren should be over in the Witchbane ruins, actually. So I could have done that while I was over there. My question is. Is the warp gate on the other side still going to work? You know, re no real reason it has to, but we'll see. Don't quite see it at the moment. It does. Maybe the part effect, coal effect, doesn't load in unless you're close, but it doesn't seem like it 
does anything is the, th the thing. And... No, it does work. There's just no reason to do it this way. Okay. Hmm. Nope. And I can... Go over to Witchbane Ruins. Around this way. Find the perished flesh of the sorceress's extra body, that is. Not the real body, but the spare. So. Go down, find Jaren, and then we can take on him in Rail Garia. And, well. Oh god. Never mind. I thought for a second that would actually work. Oh, but the gray, the roots are going to be on the cliff. Is the thing, whatever. And sorceress is there. Well, not for long. Someone is going to be there to take her out. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Goodness. Should be and not yet. Okay. Huh. Do I have to go to Altus? I might. Okay. Let's see how those ruins. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Rune back up and try to not lose them this time. Or are they? And they're right by that. I died that fast. It's kind of silly. Okay, so let me see. Is this version of, is this one gonna die or do something else like go to no Gron or she's still here? Okay. Huh. So let's end up in the same. We may as well go to the crater. Okay. Yeah, it's Nokron now. Exciting. Oh, and it's all it's all floating. That's cool. Here in the Starfall Crater. I'm glad I'm getting down though. Well, we'll see. And this is pretty much all this area is gone, and with it, the wolves. Kind of sad, really. At least they have a convenient sort of quasi staircase. But, did make sure to poke around this area before I did. All this. Trader taken care of. Onwards to Nokron. No then go on. I'll catch up. What about Mustard? The traitor. Traitor? That's my question. Oh, it would be... That might be easy talking instead of why, because I think... Should be... He should be imprisoned in the 4-1-Hound Everjail, which is amusing, because it's not just the Bloodhound Knight, but White himself. There's a bit of a double meaning there. Arguably foreshadowing, maybe. Let's go up, see if he's imprisoned right now, and we could let him out. It wouldn't actually make a difference one way or another. Potentially, it is, in theory, a bad idea. Hmm... Here and eventually, boy, the will go a bit mad. Is he in here right now? Not yet. You're howling. Oh, oh yep. That's exactly why he poses a danger. Sure. Here he is. Hello, boy. Won't make a difference, though. Why, thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old EG, but even if the odds are... Check if she's safe. Now, set in motion. Rani can finally set in motion. The fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. All right, then. I'm going to see Mistress... I don't know what... But even if the odds are... Okay. In that case... 
I should move, and this might actually be the fight against him. That chance. Okay. So we got our war castle here. Can we report the good news? Tell me everything. We're done walking the storm. Scarlet Rock, Driven Madness. Not long ago, I held his mighty to the mall and appareled your achievement. In order for judgment of character. Fate against her, so I have to knock around his open. Fonts her suck limb gray. Which is treasure. And for jail, with boy, something you should know. With all four, shadow incapable of treachery. It's an Empyrean resists being instrument of the fingers. Add from a farmer into a curse. Destiny felt holding no weight. You trust your way to Ronnie's sake. Charon did dawn defeated, finally fulfilled. The master's adept in his role. Old promise made. Send emotion. Oh, and that... The sorceress is immoral without that. Carrion weed. Uh. Okay. So he might be right outside. Ronnie's rise now, but we'll see. Remember to go back to Rena's Rise eventually. It's convenient that they always point you in the right direction after that. Just go out and go to the towers. It is interesting that every tower has its... I mean, every grace site has its direction it points you in, which makes sense. It would be necessary, but still. It is. He's going to see Ronnie. The after the Finger Slayer boy that why the goes crazy, but I'm pretty sure that letting him out does not actually change how he appears, so yeah, we need to just go back over here and descend. Okay. Oh, but the marker is gone now, but what is interesting is that yeah, it doesn't actually change the appearance of the map because and of course part of it is probably to make it easier for the devs, but the map fragments are just that, and hmm. maps actually made in the universe, you know, pieces of paper with drawings on them, so logically they wouldn't have, they wouldn't change if things change in the world, which means that some inaccuracies are par for the course. You can summon here, it's interesting. Huh. Outstanding Carrion Weed. So eventually, at least at some point, he should go to. Maybe after Altus, should go to. Gatefront Ruins. And, I mean, Gate Point Ruins, I think. And kill our Sorceress Teacher, which would allow us to revive her, but. Hmm. Yeah. Let's make a trip to Nokron. down here on these funky floating rocks but it is interesting in light of the description on the ruins greatsword that everything is floating now which presumably is related to the power of the meteorite it's, there's some level of imbuement when something is hit which is interesting conceptually should be all so the water going down but should be knock on the eternal city and is this now we are well and truly underground yet again hmm. got a map fragment for super but the other parts of her here is this gonna be deeper or see for aqueduct or what that's the question starlight let's look around before dropping down all the way over there it might be an item or something to benefit or profit me once i drop down it would have to be going around the long way to get back up, but okay, I cannot use the horse here, so presumably there is no way, real way down. Okay. Ha. Huh. I mean, no real way around. This before we drop down. Golden rune. Fun. And a... Oh. Okay. That was... unexpected. <sighs> Be nice if there had been a stake of America. Well, whatever. Keep on moving. 
Yeah, but losing two golden runes to stupid falls to my death. Just getting into Redmain Castle was less than pleasant. It is what it is, but still. How am I going to do this? Get down and we have to which way, which way? Yeah, right over here. Going around towards the west side, right. West and rocks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. That damaged me. Okay. Dropping down a bit more will be instrumental to our success. Okay. Just gotta make sure I don't die. Mr. People. It is pretty funny. Mm hmm. No, oh, it really is dark. Daylight has passed us. Okay. Hmm. Soporific Grease. What about Rome? Melted Mushroom, and here we are. Way into Nokron, the Eternal City. How exciting. Oh, this is... Yeah, we're up above in comparison. Big question is... It's more purple. We don't have the stars that we did in Shifra. Not the same kind of pretty. It's still nice though. It's a bit more macabre. Where can I find a side of grace to... But around that way, is that a... It's not a merchant though. But clearly that's a silver tier, so... I think... Yeah, I can see that moving. Silver tier. What are they weak to? Dark slime. Jectiles. Mockery of life. The mimic tier. Silver spheres. That mimic tier. Before. Transforming. Vulnerable while transforming. One pot. Three rocks. Susceptible lightning damage. Well, I. In that case. Hmm. Let's use... Oh, but aiming this might be tough. Let's see if I can't try to aim a lightning spirit in. Can I... Down a bit more, and... Hmm. The step forward is also kind of annoying for this. Its purposes. And can I... Bit under the head. That. Oh. It's tough. And. I don't think. That might not be anything. I don't know. Maybe I have to use physical on that. Maybe. Well, never mind. It was. Well, they're very weak to lightning. Group, by the way, try lightning. They fight a bit like. The. Phalanx from. Demon souls and I okay, whatever. Die. Thank you, get out of here. Silver tear husk, bird bull. For Miss Life Form, Silver Tear found in and around the Eternal City. It's mockery of life, reborn again and again to imitation. Perhaps one day it will be reborn, oh lord. Hmm. Probably not. Just my hunch. Okay. So then let's keep on moving. Keep on looking. A scarab somewhere, but either way, I can. It's their finished transforming. I can just use some of my. Uh, lightning spears to just destroy without any real trouble, so. Can I. Alright, can I. Will this hit? Will this hit? And it's not quite. This is sad. Well, there are a lot of them now. Let's just move over and. Get a stab off it. It's gone. It's actually gone. Nascent butterfly and... Mm -mm. Can I... Mm, we're out. We're out. Is there not all that... Mm, not all that strong, I suppose, but I... Uh, can I... Again, just... Spear is... Comes up pretty fast. 
Okay. That's another end. Dodge. Cool. Oh, but right, this is an actual overworld area, so I do get flashback upon an enemy group kill. That's good. Check over here. Golden rune. You're singing. It's a bit gruesome. Oh, just a silver tear husk left behind. Big question is, how am I going? How I'm going to get up top? Over there. Ha. Huh. That is. There were things over there that I could clearly see, but to do that, that was another question. Hmm. Wakaba. Jumping. A bridge or a teleport where there was really some kind of item. Where we have up to hug. Oh my goodness. So. Oh, so this will presumably lead up the trail ahead. So then. What does that mean? Context. The trail. <laughs> Smithing stone five. And then. Hmm. I don't think there are any illusory walls around here. What I see is what I get. Cruel Calling Finger Remedy, but I don't summon. Don't summon other players, especially. So the Finger Remedy wouldn't even matter if I was only summoning NPCs. Could I? Oh, we got Fallen Hawk Soldiers. Fun. And they were all basically naked, so should be good against them. Kind of sad. Kind of. Alright, then. Thanks. And, yeah, this is very good. Easy enough. And, hello there, and... Those ghost flame arrows. It is interesting how they have a connection to ghost flame, honestly. How about it's normally just something associated with death birds, death right birds, and to a lesser extent, Godwin, but... Those who live in death. It's also from this. Clarifying white cured meat. Slice me, dying after pickling purple. Focus, reduce effectiveness, so that'd be sleep and madness. No hidden path, praise the message. No, no thanks. Likely seed. Gross. Golden rune. Jumping likely good fortune. No, not really. Hmm. Question is if I. Still not heavy wood, which is good, but don't think I can actually afford to wear gauntlets right now. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Question is what the fight against the Mimic Tear is going to be like. Believe it, it's like a dream. It only took you this long. Okay. That sacred ground should be around here, I think. It's Nakron Eternal City. Ah, uh, now we... Well, we haven't seen that yet, but... It's underground is... Invisible, I suppose. Huh. This is just the map we saw before. So then, let's keep on fighting these hawks. So the fallen hawk soldiers. So. Let's see if I can... Hmm. Get over there. Over here, try to... No, nothing. Okay. Zoom I'd be able to get around the other way anyway. So, wait, but actually, I... Hmm. Smithing stone and a... It's okay. Be funny if that just made him fall. Oh, there's water down here, too. Hmm. Maybe it's another Hellhorn Grounds? It might be. Oh. Uh, now we can actually see we're... Yeah, we're above. See for us. So Hellhorn Grounds is down there. Knock on Eternal City. And, uh, the graphic makes it look like it's... Sort of hanging down from above, which, frankly, it, the buildings themselves do not seem to entirely represent that. Whatever. Okay. Come on, and also nothing exciting. Okay. It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. Do kiss Urba. Got some of that already. Something over here, and then more fallen hawks. Yeah. This is Ghost Glovewort Picker's Bell Bearing. Forger once picked Ghost Glovewort Flowers, access to the following items, and got this for no good reason, whatever. 
Thanks, and all right. And they're beating the block stops. Makes some sense. Oh, so they're doing that as a way to get the others to show off. Makes sense. Come on. Come on. Okay, oh, and the bleed was good there. And what kind of pots are they throwing? That's my question. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. I can't just power through them like I thought. All right. But their shield is surprisingly hard to knock out. That's the weird thing. Can I... Can I uh, weird. It does not block completely, but even so. It's interesting. Let's just dodge those arrows. Thank you. Cool. Then... Slice again. Honestly, if I had... Well, if I was jumping, I would be able to... One tap that with any given attack, I think, but if I had a rune arc up, I bet the slashes would be one that kills anyway. It wasn't a jumping attack, it was normal. Moving attack with a fall. Okay. First the side of the head and oh, oh. But it's gonna be a joke. Can I? Can I? Mm-hmm. And can I try again? But knocking their shield away is surprisingly hard. I don't have any kind of actual kick skill. It's an Ash of War, which I don't have on me, but... Alright. <laughs> Somberstone. That's okay. But what necessary item were they talking about? There even was one. I know that the... Black Wet Blade should be somewhere around here, but besides that, I'm uncertain. That worked. Might be the gazebo in the middle they have to go through? Left ahead. Silver to your husk. Right over that way. And I... Mm. That... How did that work? Spirit flame, frost build up. Goes to the fought with firing. Magic damage, fixed flows of frost. Company of the Fallen Hawk once ordered to explore the Eternal City. Okay. So then, where? To the left ahead. Around here, there were a few more, but going inside, that will probably be my best bet. I've seen some of this, and I guess I could get these silver fireflies for some item farming in the future. Like I said, I still want to get that ex Executioner's Great Axe eventually, so thanks. And oh my, okay, alright. What sword do they even use? Probably just a normal longsword, honestly. Maybe. Thank you. And yep, there. The weapons, the jumping attacks are abnormally strong. How oh, nice. Some glove ward over here. And that Ducus Urba. Some ghost glove ward, okay. <laughs> Circle back. Take out whatever's through here. Get to somewhere else. Oh, but is that... is that something? Aha, uh -huh, that actually goes down. Interesting. Wait, what did I miss? Did I... well... so what's in here? Getting all kinds of turned around now. Silver to Hoskin. So what's in here? This is gonna be the Black Wet Blade, or...? It's just a larval tier, okay. Just item ahead and... Oh, that didn't kill you. Funny. Okay, cool. And I can actually jump that. Fun. If only we could have done a Mika to counter. That would be even better. And another. Thank you. I feel like Mario. Okay. Oh, but that's how that whipped around. Or wait, did it? Wait. I... I'm getting mixed up. Okay, this is a part I hadn't been to before. Okay. But it... Yeah, I should honestly actually use the map. But that goes down. Hmm. What else in this graveyard? This might be where the Black Wet Blade is, but... Night's Sacred Ground is separate from Nakron, so... I think... This is one of the areas I never went to on my first playthrough. So... Fist Glove War. Take out anything here, or... Just that. So I slash. 
Great Shield Soldier Ashes. Fuck. That would be. Fog, Great Shield Soldier Spirits. Great Shield Soldiers, once bonding with the Fallen Hawks. Band of Soldiers, once explore the Eternal City. Stay out defenders with steady guard. Methods recruit. Work well as a squadron. Attract the enemies or walk ghost flame from the rear guard. That's nice too. Mm hmm. Alright. And in that case, I think. We'll go down these stairs, actually. The stairs I missed before. Behold stars, and it is quite pretty. Huh. Another silver tier, and oh, I should check to make sure I don't get ambushed, really. Ooh, Snake America. Interesting. That is probably going to be a larval tier. But. The question is just around that Nokron entrance. Something over around there, and I'm interested. Okay. Oh, we got some Nox and, uh, with a silver tier. Huh. So I. The annoying thing is that I don't have any kind of way to deal holy damage to them, even though they're incredibly weak to holy. And, oh, alright. Can I dodge? Can I... Oh, please. One, two, three. Alright. That works. And no drop. Mictyr should be just past that fog wall. To kiss Urba. And... Starlight. Hmm... Jukist Urba. And what else in this is? Another larval tier. We have a weird amount of those. And oh, hello there. Hi. Oh. Seems to wish I had another option for lighting damage. Because they don't have no AoE and no. Actually, a very, very small AoE with that lightning strike. Call me corrected. Okay. Hmm. What else is here? Kist Urba. And then. Hmm. Would be anything over here? Butterfly hands are just nascent butterflies. Grass. Is in touch grass, I presume, because I went that far in. Okay. And then, mimicry ahead, presumably. Warrior of. Oh, that was actually quite nice. That was nice to know. Down there is. Yeah, nothing you can reach from. Can't reach that from Shifra. That's right. This is just the city itself. It doesn't really even show any part of... The map is a map of Nakra, not a map of Shifra. Which is interesting. You, wonder, you gotta wonder how. And why. Okay. Hmm. Or Glove War. Then, Golden Rune, Melted Mushroom, hmm, alright. In that case, that goes, oh, and this is, oh, a Rune Arc. It said, I don't think I'll be using that, especially not in this fight. Presumably it would copy what I have. So, what I could try doing is zapping it from the edge before it actually can... Mm, I can't lock onto it, though, so that's not going to work. Alright, then. Gotta go Bloodhounds. Then, Bloodflame, sure. That should be good. Go in, and Mimic Tier will mimic me. How exciting. Hello. Hi. And there we go. Interesting. Go ahead, transform. And there we are. It's me! Cool. And, alright, and this is all I gotta do. Really all you gotta do, and there we have it. Cool. Take that. Great enemy foe. Feet of the Mimic Tier. Slipper Tier Mask, and decent amount of runes. Corpse of a formless Silver Tier, supported by its hardened Shed Husk. Greatly increases arcane, detriment of physical attack power, imitate the imitator is a cunning play indeed. Okay. So that, let's continue working our way through. That's... Mimic Tier. The Mimic Tier side of Grace. Okay. Oh, but... Can't use the horse in here proper. Hmm. Anything else in this arena, or praise the legs? If you say so. What do we got? 
We got 12 flask uses, which means it'll be 15 more for every successive upgrade. No item ahead. I know you always gotta. Still can't use the horse. Hmm. All the way down there, you can kind of see. Oh, it's really, really high up. Okay. Let us see. See for river well, but. Mm -mm. Oh, but also there's the part of Kaot with that funny rune bearer, but I will leave that for later. And, oh, I can actually. Yeah, I can see down now. That is a very long fall. Don't you dare. Yeah. Don't worry, I didn't. Uh, there's Mogwin. Which. Hmm. So nothing here. Hmm. It's. I guess the best thing to do would just be warp back, but even still. The big thing is that there's clearly something. There's an item somewhere in the start of Sifra. I'm wondering if this might be something like Hellhorn Grounds, if there might be a teleport. The big thing is I'd like to progress and then come back instead of twiddling my thumbs and hoping for something that might not even manifest. So, I'm going through the city. Hello. Oh, I hear some. Hear a scare of some sort, which. Question is, is it going to be Ash of War, Spell, Skill, or what? Oh, another Golden Seed. Nice. No, it's actually not. Good luck. So, what is around here? No seed of that yet? Yep, yep. Okay. Not. Slash, slash, slash. And what's in here? We got. Oh, a Somber Smithing Stone 5. Not bad. Huh. Main thing is. A lot of things down there. If anything, it looks like. It seems kind of like an Anor Wando for Elden Ring. See that cave roof? Hmm. And can I. Yeah, I can actually ride the horse again. That's nice. Trina's Lily and a Golden Rune, but I doubt that there's anything down here that I really need. Okay. Hmm. How do I... Hmm. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, so to get down there, though, I guess that would be Night's Sacred Ground, or... Hmm. Keep on looking. Oh, but it's another Hallowhorn Grounds. Great. So that means another Ancestor Spirit to fight. That would be fun. It is interesting that the Ancestor Spirit Dwelling Arrow have a number of those already. That the Golden Seed does not actually spawn in here, even though there is a little urgery sapling that presumably would have, as I guess maybe it was unable to fully grow because of the influence of the ancestor spirits who are sort of opposed to the urgery in a number of ways, but could I this be a shortcut? Could it be? Still no precious item. I... Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, it was a good try. Let's go forward. Hmm. It was... Those War Dead Catacombs were fun, though. If I really wanted to, it could have been a good farm site. I just do not particularly feel like farming. Oh, but... Wait. Yeah, exactly. It's not even really cold. It's just a gray, which... It's a question if it even was meant to be originally an Erd Tree sapling or something else entirely. Hmm. Oh, alright. If I only had a glider and I could just go down there from here. But the reason that doesn't work is because that would destroy the world design. They can't let you just do everything like you want. The Valpers need some cards to hold on to, so to speak. Player flexibility is developer constraint, and vice versa. That was the big stalactite as a hollow. It's the way back up to Kaled. 
It is fun how there is pretty reliable one-to-one -one tracking between the surface and up top. I mean, and down here. Surface and down here. This is butterfly and... Is there a stake around here? I don't think so. Because if I die here, I'll have to go all the way back. But this might be another Hallowhorn Grounds, I think. The regal ancestor spirit should be in this area. So... Use that, and what is that horn blower doing? That's my question. And I... Oh, and hello. What are you looking at? That out of stamina. Or to blood your eminence. It's just commoner. Beg you grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long with the Mogwin dynasty. Long with the Mogwin dynasty. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Around here. That won't work. Try down. Somehow I... Well... No, it is. This is a spot I can get to. Fine. Smithing stone. Hmm. Question is what I would upgrade. What I've got. Hmm. Okay. Birds are going around. What can I find if I go over here? Not this quite yet, but... Did a drop down, and I think... No, eventually, somewhere here in Nokron will be the Black Wet Blade, which we could use for occult upgrades, which might be good, given the arcane I've built. But it would only be physical, and it wouldn't be infusible, so... Either way, over here might be something good. We'll see. Check this side real quick, and... Hmm. This is interesting. Well done, and then turn back. Okay. Let's just get down here. Let's drop down. I have to turn back, but there should be a side of grace for something, I think. All the research. Hmm. It's a mushroom. And then anything here? No, it doesn't seem like it. The question is how I'm going to get down. I will get over there. Drop down, and presumably on top of the pillar. That should be a survivable fall. Silver cat ring would be even nicer, but I don't think it'll matter. Okay. So then I just down here, and then here we are. This is... Oh, well. Wait. Oh, that's by the Dragonkin soldier. It's really funny, actually. Guy I fought some time ago who was actually harder than the Named Dragon Soldier of Nook style with actual magic. So I still do? Okay. And then. Smithing Stone 2. But I couldn't get up here from down there, so. Clarifying Horn Charm plus a 1 is. Great Way versus Focus, Sleep in Madness, Budding Horn. They're like antlers over and over again when it becomes an ancestral spirit. Check my talismans for that. Oh, and. It adds more horns for each one. That's actually very cool. Huh. I like that. Check around and see. What else might be over here? Anything? Or no, it does not look like it, but I could kill a bird for, unless I miss. For maybe a pinion or a foot, but if I miss, it does not precisely work. Hmm. Ancestral followers are inhabiting. They inhabit dynastic ruins, it is said. That's how they're described. Stone 5, and around here, or. It was nice to get, but. Hmm. Plus 15. So I could put that on this. But I'd have to use Sacred Blade because I don't have Sanctified Web Blade yet, which means no. Lion's Claw, but I could just use, I could try just using Charge and Heavies if I wanted to go for a stance break. And I probably would, but even still, I... All the way down over here, there is a drop down there. But even in spite of that, I... Oh. Let's try not to die. 
that up. Yeah, I am going to have to turn back, but I wonder if there will be anything unique, any real reward other than that Celestial do. It's just over that big building with the Great Oracular Bubble Spell that I got. So it's interesting, but nothing too crazy. Precious item in short despair. Well, you know, we we tried. We tried. Let's just see anything else. It said no precious item, but I always feel like I have to check. And can I can I mm, tough I come on, come on. I nothing. Absolutely nothing. At least work our way down and then go somewhere where we won't dog from a fall. Okay. Cool. Alright. Fine. Then we go down to here and we've gone back there. Okay. Let's see for aqueduct though. That's the big question. Hmm. Is this night secret ground? I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a teleport of some sort. Do I need to go to Super River Bank? But I think... Taking out the Beagle Ancestor Spirit would be a good way to finish things off. Be a nice send off for this one. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Scallop across. And yeah, I do still need to go over to Mogwinton Dynasty Mausoleum. But, this is the question is. How far would the boundaries of the texture for the underground map expand? That could, of course, tell me how much there is, because it's... Mogwin, Seafra, and Nakron, Lake Arat, the Deep Root Depths over here, and that's it. There's nothing up under Mount Top of the Giants, or under the area that Farm Azula occupies. It's... that just finishes out. Okay, cool. Thank you. Two, three, and... okay, alright, thanks, thanks, and... oh my... okay. Amazing! I should use something like Flying Grammy Strength and Bloodhounds from this, but that's neither here nor there. At least we got a stake, America. <laughs> All right. We are. Yeah, this is a good position. Right over there. Okay, that was hardest, hardest spot. Okay. One well, Grammy strength. Hmm. Put that back on. What one could be okay, but it won't do all that much. So, thanks. Slam. There we go. Cool. And all right. Thank you. Goodbye. The animals have scattered pretty thoroughly. Not that they were gonna fight me, but still. Let's just let the remaining sconces. We were briefly stuck. If this was a game without a jump, I would have been well and truly stuck. The big thing is, I think... Oh, but they're not gonna just teleport in, because then I can see if uh, these are actual ancestor spirits, not... Ancestor spirit ghosts or phantasms or however you want to describe them. So... It was cool how an item sort of indicated the presence of... Dudes. Okay. Go around these other Hallowhorn grounds. Same name as the other one. Okay. One, two, three. Then we slam. Try again. Slam again. That jump attack is just very, very good for my purposes. And, alright. Oh, but these ones don't seem to have the magic arrows. It's interesting. Can somewhat pretty effectively. That's nice. I, okay. Mm hmm. But I somehow think maybe I want to use this anyway. It's just an incredibly good skill, so. How did. Okay. How did I miss? I, okay, cool. Just. Thanks. The stagger is incredible. Get over here. Can I. Can I. Oh, and. This is a bit of a trade, but it worked. Nice. Thank you. Keep on moving, see what's around here. Oh, right, we got this. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. And dodge, 
Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. And, and. Alright. Got good enough points. Survive one of those. Melted mushroom, and. And this should be. Spot with a regal. Ancestor spirit. This is. Some kookery. Hmm. Aren't those the green kids from Ocarina of Time? Never mind. You're singing from somewhere. And I. Well, what do you know? Another Hallowhorn Grounds. It's got the same name, so I guess it's at least partially generic. But. Can't do that yet. And it. Now, this one seems to be a bit bigger than the one I killed down in Seafra. So. That's why it's regal. Because it's American theater chain. Hmm. Come on, come on. That. That is almost definitely the aqueduct. The question is how I'm going to get there. It. I'm sure there's another boss over in. The rest of Nokron, but. There's at least one that's a bit of a shaman. And another. Presumably only one of those is going to revive, so... Hi. But, I guess the question is, none of them make noise, so... Are they all male except for that one, or what? That's the question. I, okay, cool. And dodge, dodge it. Okay. Keep panic rolling. Okay. And, alright. Thank you. Can slam. Nice. And I... Honestly, I should probably stick with it. Jumping heavy attacks is about... Mmm, that was a trade, though. Okay. Old thing. This you dropped. The Shining Horned Headband. Is that unique? Shining Horns, Ancestral Fall or Shamans. Buds also sh also shine. Deal ceremonial items for Ancestral Worship. Strengthens Ancestral Infant's Head. It's an item that can be used to summon spirits, projectiles to attack with, which it's interesting. So if I just sort of mash the jump button, I'll be okay. Okay, interesting. High amount of stuff here, though. Hmm. It's a big hell on grounds. Big question is, how am I going to get down into the actual city streets? Because I get the feeling that that's going to be pretty important for progressing. Probably get me to the aqueduct. How do I... Yeah, but the eight sconces to light can be crucial. Let's see how much damage I can do with the back step. But these... I think these ones are explicitly the female ancestral followers, so... They're gonna... Oh, they are going to do a miss attack. That's fun. Not really. And... Ah, uh, oh, come on. Okay. So... Thank you, and that was almost dangerous. Okay. Can I slam and jump and slam? Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. Can I scroll and... Well, they're dead now. Good. Okay. Can be spoons. Let's light this one. Thank you. Hmm. Do my way around. It's a question. It will have to be almost certainly. Holy damage. Oh, here, here we are. Or... Uh-huh, okay, cool. This is... Yeah. The way through, but that was optional. But here are the ancestral woods. If I rest, they'll all come back. I would quite frankly prefer that to not happen. Hmm. Okay. But now we have a normal area that we can work our way through without much trouble and... A red wolf of the champion here. Okay. Alright. Let's use this. Just playing Grammy Strength. And we Oh really? Okay, whatever. Thanks. And just can I thank you? Mm -hmm. Alright, top it. Dodge and can I Thanks. Take that and can I move in it? Oh my good what? Okay. Well I tried. But it appears that I have to keep playing evasive. 
Well, it, the stake of Neroka is right by the side of Grace. It's a little superfluous. That, no, actually, wait, what? Okay. But, that red wolf. Why is it even here? What kind of connection to Radagon might there be? Oh, but no, that's the summon idol, not the... That's right. Never mind. Well, that may be stupid. Let me grab me strength. Over, take this stupid wolf out. And then, yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now we're gonna... Kill that stupid thing. Come on. Well, I should probably use this again. Hello, hello. Alright. Please, please. Get in close. I'd like to have to. Come on, I alright. I alright and dodge it. Can I? Uh, so let me can I No, it's it. Okay, cool. Thanks. Alright. Dodge, dodge it. Oh, can I? Thanks. Take it. Can I get back in it? What? Okay. I it's a fun idea, but it's a bit too strong for that strategy. It is interesting that it seems like the entirety of the Hallowhorn grounds are under the aegis of that one stake of America. Which it's not about distance from the stake, it's about existing in an area that is sort of connected to that stake. So it's honestly kind of not illusory, but maybe a little deceptive. Hmm. Okay. Well, all right. Well, the song. Flame Grammy strength. And try to kill this annoying wolf again. The thing is just how evasive it is. It's certainly something. They do respawn, though, if I recall correctly, which is not good for me. Now I can fight this guy apart from the other wolves, so that should help. Thank you, and can I... Never mind. Okay, well, that helped a bit, and can I... Thanks, and dodge. Can I... One, two, three, and dodge. Can I... Oh, come on. Thanks, and... Oh, what? What? The main thing is I dodged the wrong way. If I dodged the other way, I probably would have been fine. Yeah. We're just not even dodge the other way, but strafe the other way, so they were going. So going against the grain. Yeah, that was very stupid of me. Hmm. And blood flame. Get that back and ah. Have mercy on me. And maybe even other people too. Oh, and that there is the final, not final, but one of the other sconces, so it, that's fun. Okay. Flame, grab me strength. And maybe I could just use fire spells from a distance. Main thing is just luring this guy over here and can I... Thanks, and... Alright. Oh, really? Okay. Just dodge, dodge, okay. Mm -hmm. I need to heal. I, okay, cool. Come on, just... Dodge, dodge, mm. Do oh, come on, I, all right, dodge it, what? Ah. Timing on that was very, very unforgiving, right, okay. Thanks, and dodge, 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 okay. Come on, just dodge, ah, really, okay. Come on, I, all right, heal, and ah. just take me, and dodge, dodge, okay, cool. I, Dodge, dodge, ah, really? You got to be kidding me. Okay, cool. Yo, one. Ah. These are some of the most. Dodge, and can I? Dodge, dodge, and oh, what, what? No, no, no. I, what? Huh? Okay, this is insufferable. It's gonna have to be frenzy burst. use this. Oh, I could stay on the horse, too. That's probably my best option, then. Yeah, just horse versus wolf. 
Thank you. Snipe. Don't actually use this. Yeah. Thank you. Get that and oh well I okay. Annoying. I alright, can I Thanks and oh well the horse is actually Maybe not amazing for this. Okay. Can I dodge it? Can I Thank you. Main thing is I don't need to be all that close to make this work, so I hmm. Tomic Cass is a bit of a struggle. Hmm. Can I it doesn't seem like they fall up all that much. Okay. Cool. And just not. Uh, come on, come on. Okay. Heal, heal, and. Just dodge, dodge. Okay, thanks. Can I. Mm -hmm. Need more of that then, so I. Uh, actually, despise this guy. Thanks. And. Oh, what? Never mind. Okay. Stupid. Alright. Thanks. Uh, really, really okay. I get the impression that maybe I should be... How did that... Okay, well, I'm not going to complain about less damage, but whatever. Cool. Thanks, and dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Really, really? Okay. Mm. Dodge, and... Thank you. Hit, and... Have mercy! Okay. So we got... We can restore this eventually, but still, I'm just... Thanks. Thanks. Uh, okay. All right. And can I hit and how? The fact that the spell just takes forever is what makes it so hard to use. Okay. It works okay on slower enemies, but these are not slow enemies. I okay. Let's just hit and finally that stupid thing is dead. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. By that flame. Should be in an okay position for other stuff now, so. Okay. One, two, or not. Please, please, and one. Okay. That. Out of that back. And okay, that's gone. We didn't really need it, though, so whatever. Oh, and what do you know? Arterial leaves and multiple elfin. If only I had a meaningful use for them. Mm. Meaningful. So it is just strictly worse than... Oh, but to get over there... That's the real question. That coin purse tried jumping off. Hmm. I... Eventually... Gonna be a rune there or something? We'll see. Put that down. Fight these guys. More of that, so. Ooh, alright. Hmm. How are we gonna make this work? Go through the mess, and one. That works just fine. So many rats, though. That's the weird thing. And a nascent butterfly. So these are the sources of drops like that. Okay. That's cool. And, alright. Can I. Slash, slash, slash. Slash. Okay. Nice. Come on. And can I... Nice! Dead rat. Okay. Thank you. Send that back as well. Nascent butterfly. Thin beast bones. Oh, another rat. So the question is, what's that? It's gonna be a cult or what kind of... What kind of ash of war or smithing stone is this going to be? One, two, three. And that's... Ash of war enchanted shot. And that... No affinity, spiritual essence faster than the regular shots, trajectory to follow targets, light bows and long bows. No great bows, though. That's interesting. That kind of surprises me, actually. Okay. Going over there, jumping up onto that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, but we may as well use Starlight, so. Come on. Come here, or. It's not look like it, but whatever is over there. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Kill those ancestral followers. Take out white all the sconces. We got Way to the Eternal City more or less open now. Sort of a zoom way, I guess that would be Night's Sacred Ground. I don't even know. 
Now it's... It is morning, so they can spawn here whenever, I suppose, if it's dark in the sky. That would make some sense. Okay. But, that's the jellyfish. I'm wondering if it's going to be other sconce or what. It's just around the Halloran grounds. What's all over here? That's actually... That's a nice quick way to kill. Cool. And, oh, alright, though. Hmm. I don't know if they haven't seen me yet. That seems to be the issue. See if I... Hmm, well, alright. That's fine. Send that back, but... Old thing. Uh-huh, I see. This is... Also a way forward. They got... So much over here, frankly. Now that's going to be the way to... See for aqueduct, presumably. So... Item ahead. Is there? No, not really. Oh, well, oh. Guess they were talking about the Urba. Can't imagine that would be all that worth mentioning, but whatever. Suit yourself. Oh, and over here, there is item of sorts as well. Let's not risk it. Okay. This is... Modeled necklace plus one. Accoutrement, precious, budding horn, immunity, robustness, and focus. But I like how they change the upgraded versions of the talismans appearance wise. It says, yeah. Accoutrement, accoutrement. Hmm. But I thought I saw it say necklace. I might have changed it because it's plainly not a necklace. Okay is how many more and then that fall would definitely be fatal that is not good news for me oh but that was a bit finicky second I was a little worried okay jump off jellyfish more spots and sconces guess I would be able to see how many there are specifically around here, but... Oh, there's a sconce that I don't think I got. Okay, cool. Slam! Two, three... Okay, cool. Now that seems to be... Yeah, I didn't like that one. Okay. Thanks. One. Two. Then... Like that. Shouldn't be all that many more. Okay. Nice, and... Oh, no, we actually... We got them all. Okay, cool. Somewhere in orange remains, and I... Cool, and... Oh, my... Oh, all right. Thanks. And, okay. Uh, uh, should take it out. And just... Thanks. All right. See what else might be in the grounds, and then... Should poke around a bit more, and then... Yeah. Find my way out. Not find my way out, but... Take on the... Regal Ancestor Spirit. And that should be a good send-off. Then... Oh, so it was only six this time. The other one, I believe, was eight, but this is just six. Okay, so it was less of... Less of an endeavor to begin with. Let's go over get whatever's there. Probably upgrade my... Curved Great Club to use on... The fight. But... We're there, though. Something. Hmm. We're over here. May as well take you out. There might be... I think there are probably some items nearby. Which is why I'm checking. Hmm. Now that looks to be... Looks to have some potential. Thank you. Nice. And... Hmm. Jump. Jump back. It's an incredibly good weapon. Okay, so what if anything is over here then? Anything, anything? Looks like there is a lot of root resin. I think that's root resin. Or is it formic rock? It's a bunch of formic rock, which is interesting, because I don't think there are giant ants anywhere around here. Might be a reference to the Nox, but besides that... Hmm. Go up, we get whatever's over there, and... Put ourselves in this place in a bit, and 
Oh, so what's this? It's a golden rune, okay. Okay. I... This appears to be basically everything. I'm finding if this one was the one with... This seems to be a... I would have to do a direct comparison, but I get the impression that the Regal Ancestor Spirit is probably bigger. Just a hunch. So in that case, let's keep moving. Also, it's not as weak to... Let me see. Regal Ancestor Spirit. It's weak to... Fire as to holy, so I could do Lion's Claw. Lion's Claw, Flamar on the Curved Grey Claw, then it would work very well. The big thing is, we gotta get down here, about what this is, and is this? Wait, is that? Oh, huh. So that's just the way back, presumably. Let's see what all this is. So it's something about a fat purse ahead. It's gonna be a big rune or some other kind of meaningful item. Big thing is just that there was a path back that surprised me, but it does make sense in the sense of, you know, they probably want to make a way, so if you don't want to use teleports, you don't have to. I like that. Or at least grace sight teleports. Golden rune, and oh, you'd have to uh, jump across that, I think. I think. And this, I want to get over there. I'm gonna have to start over here. But Golden Rune 12, and that Servant Most Vivid Coloration. This, Ever's over here. This is going to be the only way to get in. Nice. So, jump over, get on this. Yeah, so what is over here? This is some Ancestor Spirit, which, presumably this might be that Ancestral Infant. Maybe. Oh, it's probably guarding it. I, okay, well. I overestimated how far away I could do it from, so. Thank you. Thank you. And that's all. So this is... No research ahead. Don't even try. So what is this? This is the... Ah, yep, the Ancestral Infant's Head. At Peter Spray Spirit Vapor, good intelligence scaling, very young ancestral spirit, and sprunnings it might bear. Capital is Spirit Vapor inflicting magic damage, temporary geyser, continuous damage, everything it touches until it disappears. Which interesting conceptually, but if you have enough intelligence for a tool like that to deal any meaningful amount of damage, you've got enough intelligence to use an actual spell. That works much better. So it these butterflies are fun, but I don't need them for anything, do I? Not really. No. Let's just go down over here. Yep, and here is our way back. Let's just upgrade our Ray Claw up a couple more times. Put Flame Art Lion's Claw on it. And let it just wreak up some absolute havoc. On that Ancestor Spirit. Is that an item over there? That... Looks kind of like one, but it's probably just a particle. Whatever. Come on, come on. Formic Rock. Formic Rock. Yep, this is actually... Oh, interesting. In that case, yeah, let's go back to... The hold real quick for a bit of smithing. That will help some things. Mm. Also level up, but... To make sure, let's not do that yet. Put a hug. Increase the level of that club. Thank you, thank you. Armament. Put it on the curved gray club. There we go. And it is flame art with a lion's claw right now, which is nice. And then, yep, there we go. Decent enough increase. Cool. Good amount of fire damage. So. We'll Go back here, run over, and then see for aqueduct. Yeah, I guess I could just go straight to deeper depths, now that Fia is in a state to fight anyway. In a state to do stuff there anyway. Let's level up once. And it's actually, let's put it into Vigor. It's always good to get more Vigor. 
Because I... You know what? Screw it. I will be in Gelmir relatively soon anyway. We can make this happen. Make it work. Mm -hmm. Go pass. Set out. Go to the Horn Remains where power is currently gathering. Or so I'm told. Thank you, thank you. Oh, but these guys over here I'm curious about. Well, whatever. We'll be okay. Go over to his Horn Remains. Take out the Regal Ancestor Spirit and satisfy ourselves. Touch Horn Remains. We are in a another one of those weird little caves, which this one is. Where is this one? Where are those followers clearly still see me? Well, I guess all I can do is fight now. Cool. Got the strength. And so, oh, we could also use. Could also just use Blessing's Boon and Golden Bounty. Right. So I use that. We can buff up even higher. We need to use a flask after that, though, so. Alright. Cool. Let's go in. And the Regal Ancestor Spirit. No, it's about the same size, actually. That buff timing is... We'll see. Can I... And... Okay, I... Hmm. Go over here somewhere I could... Okay, I... Interesting. How did that... What? Never mind. Nonsense. Okay. We're all the way over there. That makes no sense. Just come on. Are you... Is this going to be Frenzy Burst? Going to be a Frenzy Boost on? It might be. If you're going to be... That damage is good. Damage is quite good. And I, mm, the issue is missing. This is quite good. Okay. And I dodge it. Oh, well. That wasn't much either. Okay, cool. And also, this will grant me a remembrance, I think. It should. So, let's just keep on shooting. And, alright. Mm, cool. And just dodge. Okay. Uh, I... Alright, cool. Thanks. Even with the timing issues, this is still going good. So I... Thank you. Fully charge. Boom. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, but if it's saying that far away from me, I... Okay, whatever. Well, that was more than a little annoying. How do I... Dodge. Mm -hmm. I... Okay, cool. Oh, but that's only up close. Alright. Mm -hmm. But it, healing it does is still less than pleasant. Okay. Cool. And it might be some... No, I don't think it does the summon attack, actually. That's actually something... I don't think... I think that was patched out, if I recall correctly. Used to be able to do a sort of spirit summon attack, but it... No, those spirits are there, actually, still. But this is no issue. Yeah, I should have just stuck with it. Yeah. Regal Ancestor. Spirit Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. Cool. Oh, and all these spirit animals are now dead on the ground. And okay, so it's under here for whatever reason. Weird. And that, Regal Ancestor, hewn into the Ur Tree. Locked by the Finger Reader, Great Bounty of Runes, Phenomenon beyond the purview of the Ur Tree. Life sprouts from death as it does from birth. Such is the way of the living. Hmm. Of the living. All right. So we got a set of grace to explore, which will presumably lead us to the Finger Slayer Blade, and maybe Night Sacred Rad over there? We'll see. Either the way, that was fine. Let's mark this. The Ancestral Woods is where I want to go next, then. Didn't get a lot of runes from that. Oh, well. So I could go and draw that Remembrance, maybe. It's an idea. I think I'll go do that. And then... So there's that one other item just lying around. Get some from here. That'd be nice. Some from Enya. Returned. Power from Remembrance. None of that. At least not right now. Finger Horn. This thing is actually good. Use it to 
decrease enemy resistances. Dissing of horns suffused with the power of ancestral spirits, or to wing shaped specimen wield as a weapon of spirit worship, and the ancestral spirit worship they considered envoys wings to reap the lives of beings which experience no sprouting. So stifler, soul sapping miasma. Like did area temporarily suffer from reducing defense? And you can use that to just debuff enemies pretty effectively too. Cut from the horns of the goal ancestor spirit, ancestor spirit's horn, restore FP upon defeating enemies, uh it's a talisman too, so I'd have to equip that there. New gross bud from the outward like horns of the fallen king, each glowing with the light. Thus does new life grow from death, and from death one obtains power. I'll take this though. And I'm only going to use it for the skill. That means his next up would be Whatever this is. And figuring out how to get whatever item is over there by the start of Nokron 2. It's interesting. And then, of course, there's Seafer Aqueduct, which leads on to deeper depths. But that will... Yeah, because if we're going through Lake of Rana and Moglin, we're probably not fighting Moog before Moglin, but not fighting Moog because we don't have the tier that lets us resist its super attack on phase transition. And we'll get a crazy amount of game done. We'll get probably at least two thirds of the game done before we even touch Altus for for real. You know, I've been there to pick up spells occasionally, but that's only so much. Well, we are doing well for ourselves. We are doing quite well for ourselves, so I will just... It's all for tonight. Thank you. Sound of Megan.